We're live. Welcome, everyone. Happy Sunday, fun day. Hope everyone had a nice 4th of July holiday. Curious to know if they canceled fireworks in your area or if you were able to watch fireworks. Maybe people were just blowing up their own fireworks. We got to experience a little bit yesterday. Yesterday actually marked a significant day for me in addition to 4th of July, but we'll mention that later. The day that you came over from Egypt on the boat? Nope. <laughs> it signifies the day that I resigned my career to become self-employed, aka fun employed. Welcome in everyone. Jeremy's gonna start off with singing with the song. I was thinking about singing a love song. A love song. What do you think? For Fourth of July? No. No? <laughs> for my lucky sock. Okay. It goes like this. <laughs> All right. I love you, lucky sock. Yes, I do. Love you, lucky sock. This is true. You're not on me. I'm blue. Oh, lucky sock. I love you. Are you going to show some love to the lucky bag? Oh, lucky sock. <laughs> I'll take that love as a no. You. <laughs> love you, lucky sock. This is true. You're not on me. I'm so blue. Oh, lucky sock. I love you. Who's okay. in the chat tonight? He loves the lucky sock over my lucky bag. Who's in the chat tonight? We've got all kinds of folks. Give me one person. Shout out to all of our moderators. Give me one with person. The, with the blue wrench. Let's go with Guy Crane. We love you, Guy Crane. <laughs> Even though she can't pronounce your name. <laughs> love you, Guy Crane. Even though George can't pronounce your name When you're not in the chat It's just not the same Oh, Guy Crane Hopefully George learns your name Shout out to Panties for that $2 super chat says, where's the fish super sticker? Call YouTube, guys. They should. They should have a fish super sticker. Appreciate it, Pat. Give me somebody else in the chat. Okay. Let's go with Joey Goose. Who? Joey Goose. Oh, we love you, Joey Goose. We just want to have a truce. <laughs> we love you, Joey Goose. Can we please have a truce? Oh, Joey Goose. Please stop going deuce. <laughs> you know that's what... Goose always deuce. Let's go with Oscar Terraquas. He sent a two dollar super chat. Appreciate it, Oscar. We love you, Oscar. I'm just going with the Grouch. <laughs> Ouch. Love you, Oscar the Grouch. Cause I can't say your last name. Ouch. Oh, Oscar the Grouch. What rhymes with Grouch? Oscar sent another super sticker. What rhymes with Grouch and Ouch? Pouch. I hope you got a <laughs> big pouch. money pouch. <laughs> oh, Oscar the Grouch. I'm so sorry I can't say your last name. It's too bad it's an ouch. <laughs> Mick Draper sent $1.99 super chat. Says, Mr. Draper loves stinky socks, too. You and Mr. Draper have something in common. Appreciate it, Mick. Can I get one more name? Sure. Let's go with... The Lone Star Picker. Trying to throw me off, aren't you? <laughs> we love you, Lone Star Picker. And here's the kicker. Love you, Lone Star Picker. And here comes the kicker. 
Oh, Lone Star Picker, you're slicker than us, cause I don't know what rhymes with us or picker or slicker or sticker. We're gonna make you a Lone Star Sticker. Round of applause for Jeremy. Guy Crane sends a two dollar super check. Appreciate it, guy. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Thank you, Jeremy. Um, you know I had LASIK eye surgery. Yeah, how are your eyes feeling? Give everyone an update. Don't they look good? Oh my, what big eyes you have, darling. The better. I thought I had big eyes. Let's compare. For you to stalk me with. Yep, you win. Except I don't need them anymore. <laughs> no more, no more, no more. No All more. Right. No more. Ray Brewer, hey guys, loving hugs from Pam and Ray. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. We do appreciate it. All right. Uh, we got a lot of things to go over tonight. We mm -hmm. have a ton of mail. We've got a ton of updates. We've got updates upon updates upon updates in regards to the warehouse, in regards to winning the $5,000 package, in regards to you name it. We've got updates. So first, before we get into updates, uh, what do they want to make sure they do? Joy? Make sure you guys are subscribed so you can keep up with us, get daily updates, get daily notifications of when we release and when we go live. Occasionally we do uh, pop-up lives. Cheryl, thank you so much. Appreciate it, Cheryl. Bam! And then <laughs> BC Google Deb, just want to support the channel. Eagle Deb. Love you guys. Sending love. Appreciate right it. Right back to you. All right. So here's the thing with subscription. Every few times a year, YouTube actually does what they call a scrub or a mm. cleansing of the platform, okay? So there are lots of what are called bots. They're not real, actual YouTube accounts. Mm -hmm. I'm first, baby, I'm buck first, 99. Baby. I want to go to your pusher machine casino. I'm sure you do. <laughs> all right, so Appreciate uh, it. YouTube actually tries to get all of those fake accounts out. So there are channels. If you see a channel, all of a sudden, it's at one subscriber account, and then all of a sudden, it grows like 10,000 overnight 15,000 those are bots bam Gary guy Crane. Crane. Oh, yeah. he said this is my first time on here i've been subscribed for a while now and i lost it Please here we go up the good work oh appreciate it and god bless appreciate it guys so there are a ton a ton of fake accounts spam accounts so people will pay, I don't know, we, we don't know exactly how it works. We just know that there are accounts because YouTube tells you that there is, okay? Mm -hmm. And we've seen other accounts jump overnight, 10,000, 15,000 subscribers, which isn't, it's just not practical for that to happen. So there are all those fake accounts. And what happens is YouTube scrubs the platform. Think of it, you know, whether you're thinking of washing your mirror in your bathroom, whatever. But in that process, it also happens to unsubscribe many real accounts, maybe yours. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to do is what, George? So typically there's a lot of channels that I'm subscribed to, including our own. And if I don't get a notification, what I'll do is I'll just go, I'll unsubscribe, resubscribe, and make sure I hit the all bell, which is the top bell to get all notifications. So there's always a bell. You always want all. We get a lot of subscribers as well going, hey, I haven't seen your videos in months. Where have it's you because, been? We haven't seen you for months. And we've been doing it every <laughs> single day. Yeah. Every day without fail. But the issue is, is they got unsubscribed on accident. Always check. Make sure you go get subscribed again. Or they don't have notifications on, on YouTube and you want to have all notifications. YouTube will tell you every day that we actually post when we post a video, which is mm -hmm. typically 530 Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. It's 2 Eastern Standard Time, and then on Sundays we 9, go live every Sunday at 9 p.m. Every Sunday, yeah. We're just getting a ton of messages through Facebook. Are you guys still going live every Sunday? We haven't missed a live stream yet in over a year and a half now. Yeah, a uh, year and probably eight months. Yep. So make sure you're subscribed. If you do have the subscription and your mail, bell notification on, if you have an Apple product, you actually have to allow your Apple product to give you notifications. So follow that process in your Apple product to allow the notifications. That way you always get notifications. That way you always know what the hails is going on every day. So that's the best thing to do, yeah. especially since YouTube just did a scrubbing of the platform, a cleansing of the platform. Just double check. And a lot of people ask us, how much does a subscription cost? 
Not a thing. It's Just your time. Free. All you do is click it's and click. It's free. <laughs> it's free. There is literally a button right there on every video. Mm -hmm. Subscribing is free. So a lot of times what yeah. they're thinking is, hey, is the memberships, uh, you know, they think memberships, they see other channels that are selling memberships. And we're not selling memberships on What the Hales. Uh, subscribing is free mm -hmm. and viewing is free. And we continue to put out the content for you every single day. Nikki Wheeler goes, every it's free. free. I always say free 99. And I always correct her and I go, no, it's free because she's going to confuse the old people, which is if who our watch, viewers are. If you're watching from your 85 inch TV, I don't think you can subscribe from watching from a TV or maybe I could be mistaken. You can be mistaken. It depends on what platform they're using in regards to actually subscribing. If they have a Roku stick, if they have Apple, whatever. All right. Or so a game console, they can subscribe. The other thing, once you're subscribed and you have your notifications on, if you want to talk with us tonight, and there's probably quite a few people in the chat. Looks like there's 620 right now. Woo! Lower than usual, but we also know that YouTube, when they do a scrub, that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And that will pick up once people see, whoops, I didn't get my notifications. But if you want to get a message up in front of us, what should they do, George? It's called Sorry. Super Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was reading a message in the chat. Here. I can't multitask Here. like that. There you go. There you go. All right, Jeff Murren, ten dollars. Hello for right there. There's a super chat. <laughs> yes. Jeff just sent one. You Thank can you see so the much. Chat is always flying. For Love us, so. the lucky bag. As a matter of fact, everybody <laughs> tonight on the live stream will have a chance to win lucky bag for free. So yes. stay tuned. Stay tuned. If you It'll love free lucky lot. bag, lucky bag is is going to be given away to a lucky subscriber, mm -hmm. a lucky viewer here tonight, okay? Yeah, along with something extra. You, you put something extra tuned. in there too? Yeah. All right, so Super Chat is the best way to get our attention because it comes right up in front mm -hmm. of our face. Sometimes, it pops out in color like bam. Sometimes we miss bam. it, but right around, I don't know, there or over there or over there or somewhere, there's going to be a dollar sign like Ali yeah. Bongo. 5367 just did. Love, Love your vids. Is. Bam. Appreciate Thank you so it. much. <laughs> and that way you can get Double our attention because honestly, we can't read anything else. Be because <laughs> it's I, I don't know to how to read. <laughs> we are going to hit a major milestone. I bet you I'm going to see if George can even guess what this is because she doesn't know because I've been looking at the numbers, but not her. We're going to hit a well, major milestone. You may be looking this at the numbers, but week. you talk about it. We're going to hit a major milestone this week. You, can you guess what it is? I can guess. Thank you, Robert. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Two dollars. Thank you, Robert. What is it? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the number of views we're about to hit. It does. It actually does have to do yeah. with the number of views we're about to hit. So that means we should be right around 50 million views. We will be hitting 50. 50. Should I say 50 or 50? All right, we'll go with 50. 50 million views, y'all. Lady That's Love Jump. That's an insane number. $3.33. <laughs> when the hills are coming back to Texas. Texas. Whenever this stuff lets once us it all, get there. Yeah, once everything gets lifted. But then now we're hearing announcements that... Other so states we're, are we're shutting down We're supposed to go again. to Florida. We're supposed to go look at properties Fourth of July week, and now they're talking shutting everything shutting down. And if we go, we get again. stuck, and we're in a truck, and so it won't be pretty. Yeah, it won't. It <laughs> Debbie will Vaughn not. says, "Wowza, fifty million, fifty, 50 million, million views." I'm still not sure why <laughs> we even got one. To be honest <laughs> with you, no, not one million, like one view. <laughs> <laughs> JK sent us a message today. He said, hey, check this out from a year ago. Do you know what happened a year ago? Uh, on July 4th, on July 4th, which we did a pop-up live. We we're on Ke Kelly's Puffy Island Jane. here in Ohio. Thank you so much. Waiting for my 80-inch TV for the Elvis <laughs> shake. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we have subscribers now ordering 80-inch TV. Nice. So Hello from PA. From I home. watch you on the PS4. You can subscribe from the TV. Sweet. MB Thanks says if you're verifying. on the PS4, you can subscribe. Awesome. Thanks for verifying. So, so a year ago, July 4th, we did a pop-up live. We were on Kelly's Island. We and I literally made an announcement were on Kelly's Island. That July 4th was my day one of being unemployed, self-employed, fun employed. And we also hit 100,000 subscribers. subscribers. So it was like a double celebration. And 
Well, there was that whole Independence Day <laughs> thing going on too that she seems to be so triple about, but... triple celebration. So yeah, about a year ago we hit one hundred thousand subscribers, and now this year, one yeah. year fast forward, we're gonna hit fifty million, million views this week. Yeah. So we're at forty nine. Awesome. We're at forty nine and a half right now, and the way that we're averaging with all of our views, we will hit. We'll be at fifty million next Sunday when we talk to you. We'll be at fifty million. That's it's gonna pretty be amazing. awesome. Yeah. We actually are. Are, we actually are above that but the way youtube works if i put a video out and then i pull the video off the platform those views don't count in the actual count so we're already at 50 million technically because there's videos that have been released but then not released i put them in private nobody can see them so you can't see those so technically we're already at 50 million but next week we will be officially at 50 million. DD Stuck sent a dollar ninety nine super chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so you much. You gave DD like a triple fist. Yeah, I did. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. <laughs> Try keep up. Try and keep up. All right, uh, we got we got so much to talk about. Um, do you think we should actually Where do, we do? Start. Should we start with mail? Yeah, let's do the okay. mail. So we are going to get into warehouse update. We're going to get into winning the $5,000 package update. We're going to get into the auction update with one of the coolest storage units we've ever, ever purchased with uh, Second Sense. One of many. Awesome we are units. we are going to uh, get into the auction update as well. Remember that uh, somebody will be winning Lucky Bag. We got a ton of mail here. So, All right. Well, let's get the mail song going. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. You know what we forgot to do today? I love opening up the mail that we get from our You know what we forgot to do today? What? Go to the mailbox. Oh, yeah. Did we even leave We've the been house so today? Busy. I did. I went to go get pizza. Oh, that's right. You got pizza. Pat D just said $2 ordered. last year, <laughs> this month, 100 views with the hails. Yeah, there was. Nice. So everybody thinks he's he's uh, Drew Carey oh. on the video, so oh, they click yeah, on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, you ready? We got it on the mail. The <laughs> version again, I see. We got our weekly postcard love from the Drapers all the way from Idaho. We got mail. The Drapers say not a potato in sight in Upper Idaho. Not a single one. Not a single one. Wow, that's Just hard to believe. Take care, Mr. Draper, and Mick. Mick's actually in the chat right now. She said she's watching from her porch. I love it. I bet you it's Appreciate beautiful it, out Mick on her porch right and now. And Mr. Draper. You know what we should do? We should actually take the show out on the porch. Although things it's get hot. so loud in the auction, it's our neighbors hot. our neighbors can hear. They came over the <laughs> the very first time we did the auction. The neighbors, the furthest away neighbors, which they're pretty far, and they got to go through the whole house and and the whole deal. The next morning, uh, one of them came over and went, um, "Is everything okay?" She and like, "Yeah, why? What are you talking about?" She goes, "You had one hails of a night last <laughs> night, huh?" <laughs> Uh, this letter is from Tom. Tom finds treasure all the way from Erie, Pennsylvania. I always, every time we see an Erie, Pennsylvania sign, I say Erie Pa. You do? Erie Pa. Bonnie Miller, the address is actually in the video description of every single video. Westside Gary just sent $2. Hello, Woo! Jeremy and George. Hope you have a great morning. Aw, thank you. Says, greetings, Jeremy and George. I am writing you to let you know how much I enjoy your channel and videos. You're both awesome people, and your hard work is certainly paying off. I wish you happiness and continued success in all you do. I am somewhat new to the YouTube universe, and I am slowly finding my way. I look for treasure, too, in the form of silver coins. I open up boxes of rolled coins and film and upload what I find. Um, a shout out would be awesome. And then he did send uh oh these two little guys. This one says, hopefully these 
Hopefully these bring you good luck at the coin pusher machines. The other one says maybe open during the live stream and be surprised. Why don't you go ahead and open those up? I, I could never do that. <laughs> You're the male person. I sing the song. Keep songs. up the great work. God bless your friend Tom from Tom Finds Treasure. All right, Tom. Appreciate it, Tom. Here we go, Tom. Here we go, Tom. All right, he's in the chat. I see him there. He just put okay. a bunch of hearts. We've got, oh, he gave you an Elvis coin. Oh, my goodness. It's an Elvis How 50 cent piece. Awesome. Oh, will that even, <laughs> will that fit in the machine? Do we dare even try it? Oh, my gosh. Should we try it? I don't know. Well, go in, well I don't, I, don't I think it's too big. Machine. It won't even go. It's a half dollar. It's way bigger than the quarter. The slots are only wide enough for a quarter to fit in. It's, but I will carry it. We'll take it to the casino with us and, and hold it next to the statue, Elvis. And yeah. and the Princess George. This will be featured in our coin pusher you should videos. You should try it. For good luck. You're you're right because the slots are yeah. yeah. They're only wide There's enough. There's three slots. You can't the machine is ten plus feet tall. Okay. So so there's no way with the body harness that I have on underneath hoodie, there's no way we can well, I guess we probably could if I fall backwards, which I almost <laughs> did last time. But um, but the slots, there's three slots. There's one that goes directly right, one that goes directly left, and then there's one in the middle that you can transition if you see George going back and forth on it at times. And it's the same way in all of it. All right, let's see what we – oh, here we go. Another one. Nice. All right. We got – Oh, I love it. Right there, another little Elvis. That's so awesome. Thank you, Tom. That's kind of cool, so huh? So awesome. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh oh, I lost I lost the first Elvis coin already. <laughs> Did I lose it or do you have it? I have it right here. All right. Here, All right you I've... keep those in a safe place. Because uh -huh. now both of those coins will be featured. There we go. In some right of there. our intros. Along right with the, the Elvis. Oh. Oh. The next uh, letter is from our friend Debbie Vaughn, all the way from Fairhope, Alabama. Um, I saw a little something there. <laughs> what is? It does. Oh, there's the address. But uh, what it is says, the deal? Attention with for pranking, pranking George's, eyes, George's only. eyes only. Oh, what so I don't is... even know if I can. Debbie if Vaughn, I can share this. Debbie Vaughn, would you like to? <laughs> All right, apparently so this is non -shareable. George And Jeremy, too, if you decide to let him see the labels instead of pranking him with him. I know y'all are busy. Thank you for making me smile on the regular. I love hearing your adorable laughter and Jeremy's excitement. Both cheer me up instantly. Aww, Debbie. Debbie. Debbie, here's what I want to know. Debbie, what is all this? Debbie sent a ton of stickers. Debbie sent a ton of confetti <laughs> to blow up everywhere. I'm going to share one if that's okay. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> Instead of pop tarts, it says pop farts. Smell logs, pop farts. <laughs> Is this scratch and sniff? Please be scratch and sniff. Oh my gosh. I got to share another one. I got to share another one. Look. Can we share that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can. <laughs> we can share that. This is our channel. All right. She sent another one. It is turd pods, not just for <laughs> Instead lunch of anymore. Tide pods, turd pods. I love it. Where's oh she finding gosh. this? Stuff? I know, Debbie. You're the best. Thank you so much, Debbie. Lee Lally Biles sent two dollars. <laughs> Congrats on fifty million, you both. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> it says for Jeremy. What? She sent I thought you a little something too. The whole thing said I wasn't allowed to have anything. It says for Jeremy. The, for Jeremy. Okay, it does. It does say for Jeremy. For Jeremy, the water bottle labels can be taped on water bottles. Hope you get some laughs. Okay. <laughs> see, now you can prank your employees. Let's see what she's so got. So I there. haven't showed you everything that Debbie sent she's, for me to prank. She you. has got more. <laughs> she's got more confetti. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, look Debbie. at this. Look what she did. Love it, Debbie. Love it. Dehydrated water. Just add, Just add water. water for Take all use only. This is so Debbie. <laughs> this is completely and totally for Debbie. Debbie, we love you. Next one is from Marie McMullen, all the way from Rochester, New York. <laughs> Are you going to use it to prank uh, your huh? employees? What? What? 
Are you going to use it to prank your employees? I'm going to give a fist pump to James Patterson. You guys are the best. Keep the great videos coming. Need to get it ready. <coughs> ah! Yeah! Thank you, James. We, we appreciate box, it. A box of goodies. Oh, my goodness. What kind of goodies did you get? A bunch of random goodies from Marie. She said... What the hails is all this? Hello, Jeremy and George. I love watching your videos. Always exciting to see what you find. The coin pusher videos are cool too. I'm sending you a few treasures I found while clearing out my clutter and thought I would share the love with you guys. George thought of you when I found the stamps. Keep up the videos, Marie. I already know what the stamps are going to be. Marie, she sent a button, a couple buttons. Ooh. I like big buttons and I cannot lie. I love, 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 love finding buttons. Look at this. Oh. This is up your alley. It, well, if it was garbage pail, but that's cabbage but patch. But you like cabbage patch too. Apparently I like cabbage patch kids and I cannot <laughs> lie. Star Trek. Wasn't. Star Trek. Okay. Trek. Trek. Say Trek. Say Trek. Tomato, tomato. No, 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 no. You tell that <laughs> tomato, to a Trekkie. Tomato. You say that to a Trekkie, and there will be <laughs> no tomato. Trek. There will be no tomato Just in like your Just like how you pronounce dolls, dolls. Oh, Mr. Bear. Say doll. Say doll. Say what? Doll. Say what? Doll. Say what? To all our doll collectors when they hear you say doll. <laughs> it's a doll. <laughs> and then there's a Dale legacy knife oh i love it and then there's a uh oh what is this it's like a weird coin Ooh, we like weird stuff we do all right this These, is like an of, old ancient this... ancient coin but you can see on the bottom it says copy but it's really cool i think it's like old roman see copy there really cool Here's a really cool patch that she also sent. Oh, what's that? Racing patch, Indianapolis 500. 500. And then check this out. Elvis stamps. Um, we, <laughs> we just we just lotted off a poster of Elvis last week. We should slap these on the machine and not get in trouble. <laughs> oh, appreciate it, Marie. We, we love slap it. Slap these right on the machine, be like. <laughs> <laughs> claimed what the hails was here yep what the hails was here uh jr87 do you fish favorite species to target from washington yes we fish for gold we like gold and gold, treasure gold and fish treasure. particularly gold. fish of the golden <laughs> variety gold so goldfish so we fish for gold but not fish just gold we really like gold Oh, she's got another big box. The next package is from Steve Gentry, all the way from Mexico. Mexico, Missouri. Steve Gentry from Mexico. Mo is Missouri, right? There's a note. It looks like a mug could be. Of some yeah, sort. I think Missouri. Mo is Missouri. It says, "Hey, Jeremy and George, hello from Mid Missouri. Hails love. I have followed your YouTube for a good while. I'm sorry to hear that. Lots I, of I appreciate you them. putting up with us. <laughs> He's learned lots of things from the videos. I have been doing storage units for several years and love the thrill of opening every door. It I have fun. noticed your mug in your live show on Sunday and never missed it. What I found mug? this mo. I found this mug in one of my units and thought it would work for George." What is it? And see how many comments you get on the live show. Keep up the videos. We love them, Steve. What? Aww. What is it? I'm afraid to look, Steve. I'm afraid to look. Oh, too bad I can't read. I don't know what that says. Do you? I can't read either. Well, neither of us can. I've taught you everything about this business except how to read. <laughs> except how to read. Appreciate it, Steve. I love it. That is, um, <laughs> that is, it's huge. The yeah, H is yeah. silent. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely is. <laughs> Here, cheers. What are we cheering? Cheers on mugs, having mugs during the live. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Appreciate it. Mary, Steve. one, Love four, it. six, two, five cent, two dollars. Thank you so much, Mary. Or Marie. 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 It's Marie. Maria. 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 
Okay. And that was the end. That's of it mail. of the mail. Yeah. How awesome was that? There could be more mail. I just didn't. I just didn't. We didn't check the PO this weekend, right? No, I didn't. I didn't. I've been too busy. Yeah, we neglected. Actually, the PO. it was so hot. This is here's the crazy thing. Yesterday was so stinking hot. It was up in the upper 90s. And my air conditioning, which the air conditioning unit was brand new five years ago. I remodeled this house five years ago, brand new air conditioning unit. All of a sudden, she's getting so cranky, right? No, it was so, I love, I'm from the tropics. I belong in the desert. <laughs> so, so Lenny Baker just sent $5. Hope you guys are well. Wish I could join you guys. Oh, Pushers. Appreciate it, Lenny. So all of a sudden, uh, somebody was getting so cranky in this house. And we looked at the temperature of the thermostat and figured out, like, oh, yeah. the air conditioning isn't working. Yeah. So I was actually setting up some of the lots up here and felt she's the vent. like, she's the like, that was blowing warm air. She goes, it's blowing hot air. What is going on? She, and she's never, ever, she's on so many meds for so many things. And she's never, I'm only ever, on one med. It's a heart med. So, like I said, she's on so many meds for so many things. <laughs> I'm and only on a, one prescribed med. It's a beta a heart blocker. With so she's called so it, it all prevents, the time. The all beta the time. Block, blocker prevents blood from flowing to my fingers and my she's toes. She's cold all so the I'm time. I'm cold all the time. And she's like, I'm burning up. <laughs> I'm and even hot. I'm like, like, I'm, I'm even burning hot. up. What's going on in this? What this? What the what hell? The what the hells is this? Are we in hells? <laughs> like, calm down. Let me see if I can figure it I out. I wasn't that dramatic. I just said the vents are blowing hot air. That's all I said. <laughs> so it's better my version. Yeah, but your version's a little dramatic. But we okay. did find out that the AC is not working but i went through yeah, all the mechanics of it everything. i went through all the mechanics of it everything's fine which means it needs to be recharged with coolant so every so many years you've got to recharge a machine with coolant and you have to have a special license to do that and it was a holiday and today was sunday so two days so far without ac it's been interesting Pat D says flintstones vitamins don't count jeremy because you're like, she's on so many I eggs. wish she would take Flintstone <laughs> vitamins instead of what she takes. <laughs> All right. So let's get into some updates, okay? All right. Can we transition yeah, into some let's updates? let's do it. Uh, very first thing, we've got the auction tonight, and somebody's going to win a uh, lucky bag. But I want to... I want to... I want to share with you the coolness of the auctions, okay? So is Midwest Picker in here right now? I haven't seen him. All right. So Midwest Picker bought the you tell everybody what midwest picker bought so was it last week or two two auctions ago i think it was two auctions ago where we auctioned off um vintage race horse tracking uh brochures where we always try and tell you is like hey these things will sell you know do your research yeah. the whole deal yeah, because so, we, we, the things that we auction off, we know are worth money, and you guys will do well when you auction them off. So we, we do these wholesale bulk auctions so that you guys can get a deal. So whether you're a reseller or a collector or you want to get a gift for a loved one or maybe for yourself, scrolling, scrolling, these, scrolling. These, uh, these auctions that we have are perfect for you guys. So he bought the, the brochures, and he's been on Instagram. He's been keeping us updated and tagging us. Every time he's been selling a brochure. Oh, is there a way I can go to the So bag? for, yeah, just go straight to his page. I don't know how to do that in Instagram. Go to search. Okay. And then type in Midwest Picker. Oh. So, so far, because he's been making all the announcements to, to me. So far, Midwest Picker has sold three brochures. All three. right. So he's got live auctions. <clears throat> this is, do you remember how much he paid for the brochures? Uh, Over a hundred. All right, this is one of the brochures that ends tonight that he bought from us. Just one. He already has, with nine bids, $178.50 just on one of them, and he sold others. So it hasn't completed yet, and I don't think he's in here yet. I can't wait to see what it, what that one actually sells for, and he has other ones. But that's his, that's his highest one right now. All right, he bought the entire lot for 100 That's one of – there were so many programs – and I shared with you guys before 33 programs. 33 programs. And I shared with you guys before that I actually have have sold a program. Oh, there he is. He's in there. 
uh, Midwest Pickers has, hey, that's mine. So that I've sh the I've shared a, I sold a program before oh, for 175. <laughs> so he's beating my high amount for a program for a piece of paper so, for a piece of paper with writing on it. It had writing on it too. So so if you hear me say in the <laughs> this is the crazy part about storage unit buying, you learn so much about so many things. And I'll tell you all the time, this has this has value. This has mm -hmm. value. And so many people will be like, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But the reality is it does. Yeah. And you learn it by doing your research. <clears throat> so congratulations, Midwest Picker. I know he's bought a knife lot from us and did a unboxing video and pretty much said that was it worth what I paid for? Yeah, this for? video was awesome. And uh, Jesse from Clear Thrifts has made a video that we, that we know of too where he said the same thing. Was it worth buying... A, a lot from what the Hales auction that they both said, yes, absolutely. You will make profit. So we love, love, love hearing your success stories. So please keep them coming because we love to hear that. Midwest Picker, did the amount go up at all yet? Did it finish? We want to know. So let us know in the in the chat if you're still there. So is he doing all of them auction style then, not uh, buy it now? I don't know. So the third one has definitely been auction. Uh, the first two, how much did those sell for? Uh... Yeah, he said it sold for 178.50. Nice, okay. that's so awesome. It, if you can tell us your current total for all of the pamphlets, that would be great for everybody to know in the chat as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, so cool stuff with the auction. Somebody's gonna win the lucky bag. Let's get into the train unit auction though. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, yep, all auction style. More selling at 15 to 25. That's his high dollar one. Okay. So that's great. Nice. All right. So <laughs> that's pretty exciting. So he's already made his money back on the one brochure that just sold today. That's incredible. Yeah. So the rest is all going to be pure profit for this him. This is the 10th time I'm going to say. So <laughs> now you know how I feel when you so, always cut me off. <laughs> you so may speak now, Grasshopper. All right. One of the coolest units ever this week bought for $1,000 with Second <laughs> Sense Auction. Mm -hmm. Second Sense, I believe, is in the chat. If you have not checked out Second Sense yet, that is the entire whole of the other unit. Now, here's the crazy thing. I don't even know what Rob got out of it yet. Except, So he was unloading trunks. I know there was a pound of silver, a full solid pound silver sterling plate. Okay, That's what I know. I don't know what the rest of it was because we were going so fast with filming. Yeah, I, and you've been guilty of not watching his videos either. I've been guilty of working way too much. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to know what's in the other units, you got to check out Second Sense. Conky and, was there saying wasn't just trains, lots of other great stuff. Oh, yeah. Too. Conky was there giving prices. I have another video. It'll be the final video of the lockbox coming out tomorrow from the unit okay mm -hmm. and then i don't know how many more rob actually has coming out i've got to get over there to watch what the other half of the unit was because there was just so much gold silver trains collectible toys and oh my goodness if you love trains wait till you see tomorrow's video what rob finds oh by the way midwest picker if you like paper uh what rob finds tomorrow is the easy easy thousand dollars worth of of train paper but i i digress all right so here we have all these cool things and maybe you can schedule something for thursday because i'll be out that way on thursday all right apparently i'm scheduling something for thursday i'm not sure what she's referring to but to stop at second sense because i'll be in that area well we'll be probably there before then so we're going to auction those items off but tonight you're going to get a, a glimpse. Well, you're actually going to get the opportunity to own part of the unit because we have all the stamps. Now, there was one. I, I haven't looked it up yet. Multiple people said there was one stamp collection in there. that was There was one that was listed. It was the collectible book. And one was listed on eBay for $2,000. One sold for $1,000. And it was in that collection. Okay, I don't know because I haven't looked. We have been way too busy. I do have a binder with stamps in it that maybe that's what they're referring to. Well, if you go back to the videos and you check now before we auction them are, off, there are a lot you're going to know. David Debar, he said, you and Rob make great videos yeah, together. We did have fun. Do. So if you go to the video that had the stamp collection in it and you go through the comments, you're going to be able to see exactly what they were talking about. We didn't have time to do that. Way too much work. But uh, that being said, 
that whole stamp collection is going to be actually auctioned off. Or are you doing it all tonight or are you doing it in parts? Parts. She's doing I parts. I think I'm going to divide it up into three lots and then we're doing one lot tonight. All right. So one lot of the stamps goes tonight. You definitely want to check out that video. Find out what mm -hmm. they were talking about that was selling for $1,000. We haven't had time, but we are going to auction it off. Now, here's the other thing. We've been telling you the entire time. You're going to be able to own everything that you saw on What the Hails. And if you haven't seen the other half yet on Second Sense, make sure you see it on Second Sense. It's going to be auctioned off. There's only one piece that hasn't, that's not going to be auctioned off. And it's a Dukes of Hazard RC car that was gifted to Conky for actually helping with the videos. Robert Kirk Rogers, $2. Thank Midwest you so much. Pickard says so far he's made $340 Sweet. with about 20 more to go. So 33 total, he's down to 20. It's a pretty good profit. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty good profit. We tried telling yeah, you we, guys. We, we tried love, telling love, like, love hearing and, these stories. And like yeah. when Amy Swartley's on and she shares how oh much she goodness, sold yeah. she, things that she bought. Like we love, right. love hearing stories like that. So keep them coming, guys. So that unit, we're just going to call it. Mm. We've had other train units. We'll, we'll just call it the toy train unit, okay? Or we'll call it the Vintage Lionel. Toy. We'll call it the Lionel. The Lionel unit, unit yeah. So good. So good. So if you, here's the deal. If you, if there's something in that unit, you go, oh man, we really, really don't want it to be on secondsense.com. We want you and George to auction it off on your live auction on Sunday night. Look at that. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie Diva. Debbie Diva. <laughs> you pronounce my name perfectly, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. I can't read, but sometimes I can <laughs> pronounce things. So if there's something you want us to auction off from those units you saw in there, uh, and all you got to do is send us a message. What the hails at yahoo.com say, hey, mm -hmm. we really, really would like to see this in the Sunday night auction instead of secondsense.com. So throughout the entire video, we told you everything is going to be auctioned on secondsense.com, but George swiped the stamps for you guys. So if you would prefer it, to be at like a YouTube exclusive auction on Sunday night instead of a global second sense auction with, with Rob's platform, you got to let us know because I'm going to sneak over to the auction house this week and I'm going to see if I can swipe some of those things just for Swiper, you guys. Do swipe. Yeah. Second sense <laughs> just said, hopefully you didn't hear what I just said, Rob, but the second sense just said it is unit. the epic train <laughs> unit. Okay. So you got to let us know beforehand because that auction is going to end. Rob will have that auction up here in a few weeks. That auction will end on July 25th, okay? You'll get the countdown. Remember you got the soft, you know, soft bidding end, you know, the whole deal there. Mm -hmm. So you Oh, I forgot it. Shouldn't be showing my legs. I don't have pants. Uh, <laughs> July 25th is the auction. It's when it ends. That's mm -hmm. that's the auction. When it ends, the auction isn't up yet. We'll let you know as soon as the auction is up. I got to know, though. I got to know from you guys. Those who are watching, those who are watching her, uh, the, the videos, what was your favorite item from those videos, from that unit? Athena Sardin, $2, the empty koala box. Love you guys. <laughs> Okay, I got robbed <laughs> with the empty koala box. I was hoping so bad there would be a koala something in there. But then we found like some hairy suit later and I was like, nah, is that you're, that's your spoiler alerting. <laughs> that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Don't forget what she just said. That was a yeah, spoiler ear, alert. Earmuffs. All right, I, I want to know. Favorite item. Okay, so Heather Armstrong, she says the stamps are great. Um, okay, Hot Wheels. Uh, no storage There's filters and he's fluffy. talking to Fluffy. Okay. <laughs> fire trucks. Lady Luck Junk said fire trucks. Wait till tomorrow, Lady Luck Junk. Spoiler alert again. Marilyn says the Marilyn, stamps. the stamps. Yep, for Lemzia, sure. Lemzia earlier said great swipe. Oh, yeah. Nikki the T, the, the uh, Star Wars speeder that we found. Yeah. Uh, Grimes Fine says the mattress. Mattress. Oh, there was a tanning bed. The tanning bed. That must be what he means. That must be what he means. Uh, Michael says the Elvis items. Those were awesome. Debbie Lenny said the gold was great. Oh, the gold was so awesome. The gold was such an epic find. Uh, Lenny says he wants the trains. Uh, yeah, here we go. Midwest Picker. If you want to schedule me as a live guest for 10 minutes from Sunday night to talk about my sales, oh, I'll be happy. Oh, yeah. No pressure. Yeah, we can do that. That'd be great. Whoop, bam. Whoop, whoop. There email us, Midwest Picker, email us 
So we have your email address. Uh, Jim Straw is saying guitars. No, I don't think there were any blood, blood, sweat, and sell. I had to readjust my time Thursday, Friday, Saturday because I need interruptions while working the coin, <laughs> uh, while watching the coin pusher videos. Thank you. LOL. Appreciate nice. it. Love it. Love it. That's real talk mentor, but he switched, uh -huh. right? Okay. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that already. So the auction will be at www.secondsense.com. We share that in the videos. It's a two ND sense.com i'll just type it right now so mary you guys fowler know. says my favorite thing was your excitement oh my goodness it was so <laughs> good the one thing that excites jeremy the most in units is anytime he finds vintage toys and toys toys but that unit was toys gold it was the very first thing i found was gold and it was yeah. like it was gold and it was raining gold so the the auction will be on secondsense.com we will pull items okay right We'll pull items because I'm going to sneak into the, his auction house. Everything's at Rob's auction house right now except for the stamps. George swiped the snap, stamps for you guys. I will sneak over there and try and pull some more items this week if you guys want me to actually put it on the Sunday night uh, auction instead of the the www.second mm. sense. Chandra says the trains because her dad, brother, and nephew are all named Lionel. So, so many good trains. So, so many good trains. Yeah, that was pretty epic. And tra Transformers, did we find? No, I don't think we found any trans. Wait, Rob, did you find Transformers? He must have. He must have found Star Wars. We had epic Star Wars. I mean, just in the one Star Wars case, there was $1,000 right there. It was like every box we would open, that box would pay for the unit. And then everything else was profit. Especially when you open up a trunk, the very first trunk, and it's like gold, 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 <laughs> gold, 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 gold. Yeah, he found G.I. Joe. He was did there find a Dorothy Joe. wig? There was a Dorothy wig. And Jim Cat says, love the Dorothy wig on yeah. Jeremy. The Dorothy wig, there's no place like home. That was pretty awesome. The second sense no said no, G.I. Joe. Yeah, G.I. Joe. Yep, that was pretty incredible. The Star Wars, I mean, it was just, it was a great unit. It was a great unit all the way around. What was your favorite thing from the they unit? They were definitely collectors, and they took really good care of their stuff from what I saw. My favorite thing, the empty panda box, koala box. Koala box. <laughs> you just stole somebody else's, you know. Yeah. Well, that was oh, tin toys. Uh, Rob just said the tin toys. Those were pretty cool. Yeah, Amy, Amy Brewer said the Native American Indian dolls. It was awesome. It really was. It was a it was a great unit. So one of the things that we've been saying. Since Robert Kirk says the dust, dust is oh my always goodness, a good there was sign. So much, always dust. a good sign. So much dust. There was, we've we've been saying this since the quarantine <laughs> and all of that that there are going to be some pretty epic units, and and we honestly, uh, everything we've bought so far since the auctions have opened back up have been great. Mookie Pookie wants to know: Were there any vintage lunch boxes? Not in that one, unless not not unless in anything Rob, I unboxed. Unless Rob, unless Rob found, found it, it. And we didn't see. Yeah. Unless Rob found it, because remember, I still haven't seen all of Rob's videos. I don't even know everything we bought. So and Rob probably hasn't seen all of my videos. So Conky was being the judge, and uh, it was just it was absolutely amazing. There will be one more video from the unit on on what the hails tomorrow, and Rob may still have other videos coming out as well. I haven't asked him yet. But if you want some of those items, just let us know. And keep in mind, put it in your calendar, even right now, July 25th. <laughs> that's when things are going are, are gonna to end. The auction officially will end as far as the bidding on www.secondsense.com. Okay? Soup says, Second Sense and Conky, I love the conculations. The conculations <laughs> were amazing. The conculations were amazing. All right. We also, we, before we get into the auction, which is we've got to waste before we get into the auction, but we got to talk about this $5,000 package still that people can win. Yeah. So why don't you. We're still getting a ton of messages from people asking, how do I win this $5,000 package? Well, let me pull the video up. <laughs> We're here to share with the details on how you can win that $5,000 package. And the best part is. You can win the package and transfer it to anyone. anybody, anybody. Yes. It can anyone. be a gift that you give anybody. 
you may not need it, but you may know someone that needs the package. So it's it's transfer transferable to anyone. Do, 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 I'm pulling it up right He's now. He's pulling it up. There is a video that Trying was released to... this week that explains exactly what steps need to be taken in order to qualify for the drawing. All right. So for the drawing, and this gift is given 100% complimentary of clear choice mm -hmm. LASIK in Brexville, Ohio. In Brexville, Ohio. So for the drawing, I'm going to put the video in the chat right now. You've got to watch this video. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yep. Okay. The link the is link there the for chat. the video. That's the video you've got to watch and you've got to follow the instructions Thanks, completely. Thanks, Flippin' Adventures. <laughs> so, Look, she's already on Oh, top she's of already it. on it. So let me, let me state this very, very clearly. <laughs> If you do not follow the instructions completely, you will not qualify, nor are we going to come alongside of you and go, well, you've got to do this, this, and this. It's either you do it correctly and you qualify or you don't qualify. So make sure you watch the video. Make sure you do everything the video says, mm -hmm. and we will check on all of those things. So for example, if it says you have to be subscribed to the channel, we can go through our subscribers in, in YouTube analytics, we can go to our subscribers. We can make sure you're subscribed. So you got to make sure you're subscribed. If it says you got to share, we're going to check and make sure that you shared. So it tells us that the video has been shared and where it's been shared to. And then it tells us traffic sources of where things come from. All of those things will be checked. If those things have not been done, we're not going to come along to side somebody and go, well, you didn't do number three or you didn't do number two correctly. You've got to do it correctly to qualify. Okay. Mick Draper sent a buck ninety-nine. Oh, Draper needs it. it. <laughs> oh. So the video is there, and Flippin' Adventures put it in there. I'll throw it in there one more time. Remember, this is completely uh, complimentary of of Clear Choice LASIK in Brexville, Ohio. It was them who came to me. And they said, hey, we see what you're doing. Uh, we would actually, would you be okay with us giving away a free LASIK eye surgery on your channel? And I went, oh my goodness, Absolutely. this is so awesome. Yeah. Because we hadn't been able to actually buy much and restore the love. Like there's some things that we're able to do. For example, organization came to me. I did a little story on it today. Organization came to me and said, hey, can we put up a hope box uh, on your property? And uh, and so we have that. We have that now as well so there's a hope box if you don't know what that is check out facebook check out stories on youtube check out instagram uh there's some things that we can do here there and everywhere but we haven't been able to do anything major and we consider this pretty major to help somebody out so we appreciate everything clear choice lasik in brexville has been doing and some of the questions that we've gotten is number one do do i have to come to ohio the answer is yes. You do have to go to the it same is, location that he had the procedure It is the exact done. same yeah. location. Trust me, you want to go to that location. They got they got some serious massage chairs. I'm telling you, man, it is. It's one hail of an experience. It is. It is. Because so when I had my LASIK experience. surgery done when I was 19, I didn't get half the services he got. Blood, sweat, and tears. We will give a warehouse update in just a moment. Rookie's Boo just sent $3. Aw, appreciate it, Veronica. <laughs> so that can be won by you, given to anybody, fa friends, family. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, if you're a reseller, I suppose you could even sell it if you wanted to, <laughs> if you win it. And oh, then, I didn't even think of that. That's actually. Oh, that was the very do. first thing I thought of. I was like, somebody's going to win it the for five grand, mind. and they're going to sell it for four. <laughs> I was like, that's the first thing I, that I thought of. But it's it's an amazing. Oh amazing opportunity yeah so let's say for example you live on the west coast but you have a family that lives near ohio near brexville ohio and you know that they can certainly use lasik it's definitely transferable to them they just have to or if you live anywhere in the u.s or even out of the country and you win it you just you're just responsible for paying for lodging and travel to get to brexville ohio and it's for life you get enhancements for life so what i got is enhancements for life anytime anytime it needs to be readjusted i get to go back in they take care of it it's enhancements for life in other words the package isn't just lasik eye surgery one You're and done. done there's so it's many follow-ups yeah and it comes with it's a lot for of life and it's for life touch-ups it's for life 
for life. Watch. Did you say she'll kill me off tomorrow? All right. For life. <laughs> so make sure I wouldn't even hurt a fly. Or would I? <laughs> with this I think, face? I think they they've all witnessed you sucking up uh stink bugs with the vacuum cleaner. All right. Make sure that you follow the instructions. We can't stress that enough because there are some of you out there that aren't following the instructions and we aren't yeah. you uh, I'll, I'll say it as boldly as I, I possibly can. We can't hold your hand and babysit you through this process. You need to qualify legitimately through the process. All right. Nick Draper sent a dollar ninety nine right. super chat. Says so easy to fly and stay. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> and yes, then whoever is. the winner is, we should certainly meet up with them. Well, I, I have to go and record the process. Yeah. I mean, that's so, a, that's a given. By the way, uh, I, we haven't mentioned this yet, but whoever the winner is, I actually want to go in with you and record your. We'll basic ho we'll as hold well. your hand during that process if you do win. All right. Because didn't you have Christian hold your hand during the process? Not talking about it. Okay, he doesn't want to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have to talk about it. Warehouse right, update. Warehouse update. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for the warehouse update. Warehouse update. Here's the warehouse update. Uh, I was contacted by my lawyer this week to give me a warehouse update. So remember, everything that I share in regards to the warehouse is my opinion. Okay, I want to stress that. And frankly, I need to stress that for legal reasons. This is opinion based right now, based on my opinion. Marilyn, the building owner, as of right now, has not dropped lawsuit, nor has she actually accepted my offer for the building. So just to let everybody know, she has listed the building and property for 100, I believe, and again, this is all opinion based, I believe $129,000, okay? 2015, it sold, it, it sold illegally through shilling, again, my opinion, that's illegal shilling, never transferred hands, to her brother-in-law at auction for 57. I made an offer of- 51. 57. I made an offer below that being this many years later, it's endured so many floods later. It's been uh, overrun by rodents, raccoons, mainly later, homeless later, the whole deal. Okay. Uh, she has counter offered at $110,000. And that is by no means what the value of the property is. And right now everybody's going, oh, I live in California. We would pay a million dollars for that property. Well, great. Pay it in California. <laughs> this is Ohio. It's not worth it. So my counter offer to her counter offer was, this is my offer, the monetary value. It was this much cash. And I dropped my $250,000 lawsuit against you, my counter lawsuit, which is continuing to grow on a daily basis because it's based on loss of income. And so that's not just at $250,000 right now. That has grown. And that's where we're at. Things have not transpired anywhere further than that at this moment in time. Uh, it has become a major, major inconvenience to have to continue to break into the building that I'm illegally allowed to be in. Uh, and the funniest part is, is her lawyer has asked my lawyer to unlock a portion of the warehouse because she's locked out. And I told my, I, I just laughed. I just laughed. I told my lawyer, I was like, well, tell her I would love to, but I'm locked out. <laughs> so it's just absolutely, absolutely crazy. And we'll see what happens all in the end. That is the warehouse update. Are there any other updates we need? Uh, no. Do we have a date of when the drawing will be? Do we have a date yet? We do. We do. Ooh. Dill hole, 696973. Uh, so nerve damage fixed. Now it's all good. Sweet. Let me give you some more. Let me give you some more. Come on, come on closer. <laughs> all right. That's good great to news. hear. Good, good to hear. So when when the drawing will happen, you have the entire month of July to actually apply to qualify for the drawing for the free five thousand dollar package. Okay, whole month of July. I go back in right after July, and I, I, that that appointment will actually be scheduled tomorrow. So I'll be there tomorrow. I have an appointment at one forty five tomorrow. Any stalkers in Ohio, please don't meet me in the uh, in the parking 
lot because they, they've got strict stringency for uh, COVID and all that. You got to wear a mask and only those who have an appointments can go in the whole deal. So uh, you can't go in with me. Don't don't show up. But I do have an appointment tomorrow. That's a follow up one week follow up. Then I have a one month follow up after that. And at that one month follow up, we will actually be drawing the winner. And that one month follow up will be in the very beginning of August. So anybody who applies during July, you have you have all the opportunity to actually qualify for the $5,000 package in July. And then when I go in for my one month follow-up, we'll pick that winner and that will be in a video. So you'll get to see that in a video. All right. Mookie said, I'm a ham. Jeremy is such a ham, she says. <laughs> Touche. Yes, I'd like is. to consider myself <laughs> bacon. All right. Any other All questions right. before we no, transition we should... into an auction? I know a lot of people uh, that are watching us right now and that are in the chat, uh, this will be their first live that they're attending. First? So welcome. Uh, a lot of repeat viewers on the live. So welcome again. We will do our live bulk auction um for the next two hours we have about 15 lots to auction off awesome lots we will do a practice if this is your first auction um if you don't know how it works don't worry stay tuned we're gonna Jeremy share with will you run down the rules all right we're gonna go fast and furious good thing i don't need those glasses anymore i got my <laughs> eyes fixed uh no hating on my legs for not uh not wearing pants george stole them when i got the bubble guts okay all right. Remember, everybody's going to have an opportunity to win. Thank you, Bill Hole, to win a free lot tonight. And that includes Lucky Bag. Lucky yeah. Bag has been retired. Lucky Bag is holy. And Lucky Bag is going to be given away to a lucky viewer tonight. Mm -hmm. so With you something have that extra. And With something a little extra. Apparently, she threw some extra in there. Did you throw <laughs> that $500 gift card and or the $1,000 gift cards in there? No. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yes, All right. We'll have to wait and see. We always give a free lot at the end of our auction, so stay tuned. All right. Here we go. Here are the guidelines for the live auction tonight. Number one, you need to be in live chat, not top chat. Why is that, George? Super important that you're in live chat because you'll see the chat as it's happening. YouTube tends to switch it up to live chat. You don't want to be in top chat. You want to make sure you're in live chat all the time. Periodically Thanks, check as well. All right. Uh, Rev Resale just said $20. Jeremy and George, George thanks, for thanks for being y'all working, working on a vid on while watching. Nice. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. Thank you, Rev Resale. <laughs> Hopefully that vid goes Revenue number team. one for you. Number one. All right. So live chat, not top chat. $25 minimum bid for all lots. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's with free shipping within the United States. If you live with outside the United States, you are more than welcome to bid. You just have additional shipping fees on top of that. And you will only have one minute to win the lot. So <laughs> what will happen is once the count countdown starts, you can start bidding. And then the last highest bid before Flippin' Adventures, if you don't mind tonight, Flippin' Adventures, she says sold. Oh. The highest bid before Flippin' Adventures says sold. You'll see it in the chat here probably in just a second. Yes. Uh, just another reminder, if you have no intentions on paying for your lot, please don't bid. There you go. Sold. sold. Once you see sold, the highest bidder has won that lot. Okay. And we'll give you information there. You're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, your address, and your yep. email address mm -hmm. to whatthehales at yahoo.com. We'll point that out on the actual screen for you. And then uh, once, once Flippin' Adventures has sold, it is sold. Now, keep in mind that sometimes on your YouTube, if you put in a bid, and it's really close to where Flippin' Adventures and the timing. Sometimes YouTube will actually bump your comment only to you up above Flippin' Adventures. So our moderators will verify who the highest bidder is. Tony just sent five ninety nine. Tony, Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it, it Tony. Tony. So in other words, what we're trying to say is you don't see your <laughs> chat in real time like we see your chat in real time. We will not be typing. Therefore, we will see everything as it happens in real time. If you were to go back afterwards and watch the live chat in real time after the live stream, you'll see, oh, well, on my computer, my comment was here and Flippin' Adventures was here. But in real time, Flippin' Adventures was here. My comment, my, my bid was actually here. So remember, mods 
they hold the final decision in regards to that, or we do because we're seeing it in real time, whereas each individual at home may not particularly be seeing your, your bids in real time. Okay, if you are the runner-up bidder, you are a runner-up bidder, you didn't quite win it. If you want to send all of your information to George as well, that's a good thing because if somebody doesn't pay, then they don't play anymore on the channel. So you go, well, that's pretty harsh. Why would you block and ban somebody? Because this is people's livelihood. For example, Midwest Picker, he is a professional nurse, but a professional reseller as well. So he buys a lot for $100. And so far he's made over $300 and he's making more. That puts food on his family's table. Yeah. And if you're going to bid and then not pay, you are you are taking away the opportunity from serious people doing serious work that we are trying to help source during serious times in our world. Well, the same rules apply if you're at any oh, live yeah. storage a option. Any other if you option. don't pay, if you don't pay or, you're you, done. or you so. ban your unit, you get banned, you get blacklisted. So don't do that, that's not okay. And other than that, everything is as is, no guarantees and no returns whatsoever. As is, it means it is the way that we got it from the storage units. It could be a complete and total broken mess. Thank you, Dill Hole. Or it could be brand stinking new, but it is as it is with no guarantees. We make no guarantees whatsoever. We'll try and share with you information that we have. There are a lot of times we just don't have information because we don't have enough time to actually go through and get you information. You may have questions. We may not see your question. We may not answer your question. It's as is, no guarantees, and no returns. Once it's sold, it is sold. You own it. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's practice this Let's thing. Let's do a practice run. How about you send me a video? How's that sure. sound? George is going to send me a video and we're going to practice. I'm going to add her to the actual live stream right now because I'm cool like that. That's how I roll. I roll like that. I do. Look at that. You see how I roll? That's how I roll. All right. George has something there. I don't know what it is. Aztec Silver. <clears throat> One of our subscribers sent it. A subscriber sent that Aztec Silver? Yeah. Whoa. Over a year ago. Wow. From Australia. All right. We've got Dill Hole sent 99 cents. Frank Chapman sent $10. God bless you guys. When are you going to see Grimes? Whenever we can, Frank. Thank you, Dill Hole. Thank you, Frank. Whenever the world returns to normal, if it ever does. All right. Here we go. This is practice. This is the item here. This is something sent by a subscriber. I don't remember that being sent. So apparently this is the uh, night of year ago. It's like 100,000 100, subscribers and Georgia's fun employment and the whole deal. All right. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious. $25 starting bid free shipping within the United States because you only have. Remember, this is practice. One minute to win it. Let's go. Okay. You got one minute to win it. Let the bidding begin. We got Danielle at 35. We got Nick D at 50. Million views. I'll take that, Nick D. We got a hundred. We got four rolls of toilet paper. We got Elvis. We got ketchup stored for 13 years. DMAC National Knack. Actually, I would like that ketchup. 300 boxes of new Ziploc Lucky Bags. They're trying to give you Ziploc Lucky Bags. Uh, <laughs> Dill Hole just sent 279. Real money. I win. LOL. Nice job, Dill Hole. Dill Hole actually sent real money. Appreciate he did. it, Dill Hole. He sent $2.79. He sent real money. But Marasa is saying 10,000 gallons of ketchup. I kind of like that. New socks? No way. Ketchup. I ain't getting no new socks. A koala for your actual empty koala box. Actually, that would be oh, kind of nice. Yeah. That would be nice. All right, 12 seconds to go. New lucky bag. Cecilia, she already has a new lucky bag. You saw it this week. The McNax said cheese. How about a lifetime of toilet paper? All right, garbage pails kids. We got we got garbage pails kids and let's see. We're waiting for sold. We're waiting for sold. We're waiting for sold. Fluvin Adventures is going to go sold. <laughs> and bam, right there. Fluvin Adventures sold. Bam. I'm accepting Nikki T's uh, bid of 50 million views. Well, thank you. Congratulations. I would like that 50 million views right now. I would like it immediately right now. Uh, this past month, this past month was runner up to our best month on youtube ever so june july. of 2020 last july of 2019 was our best month on youtube ever 
and this past and far is views. And this past June was second by just a hair. So absolutely incredible. We'd love to another 50 million Over views. 11 pounds, this is a second chance. This is, she says, this is a second chance. Remember, you're going to get a first chance at all those stamps from the Epic Train unit tonight. This is a second cent, or second chance lot. The buyer did not pay. Buyer got blocked for not paying. These not are these are football cards. So George says, didn't even communicate. Now, a lot of times when you win, we have individuals right that they don't know how to spell what the hail. So it's not H-A-I-L-E-S or H-A-L-S. It's H-A-L-E-S. So you got to send a message exactly the way that it's typed. So she's got a bunch of sports cards here. Do you remember what this sold for last time? How much? Uh, she doesn't. 120. Oh, it sold for 120 last time with free shipping. 120 is what it sold for last time for free shipping. Renee and I were just talking, Renee with Bargain Hunters Thrifts. Renee and I were just talking on the phone today about uh, baseball cards and all sports cards just increasing in value like crazy right now. Crazy. Crazy? Did you Literally say crazy. crazy? Literally, like everybody always tells you the 80s and the 90s packs. Like, oh man, you know, so mass produced and it's not worth anything. Sealed boxes right now, 88, 89. E easy, sealed box. You're going to get 3,000, three, three and a half, uh, even four grand, maybe even five for a box of sealed cards from the 80s. And right now you're all going, uh, yeah, right. We hear that all the time when we tell people prices on things. We do this for a living. <laughs> So crazy what's going on with cards right now. Midwest Pickers same brand. I don't know. Probably a bunch of different ones. It's a variety. <coughs> it's a variety. Tops, mostly tops. She's seeing tops. 2005. 2005 tops. 2006. These are tops, tops, tops. Uh, Pat D sold a card for four hundred fifty dollars six years ago. Now nice. it's worth twelve hundred. What? Twelve hundred. That was the last of the binder. Tops, tops. Seeing more tops, more tops. Looks like a lot of tops. So there we go. We've got five binders. This is a second chance. Buyer didn't pay the first time. Second chance. So it is. That much in weight, I didn't see what it was. 11 pounds. 11 pounds in weight inside the binder. 11 pounds in weight inside the binder. $25 starting bid, free shipping here within the United States. Okay, You feel free to, to bid if you're outside of the United States. There will be additional shipping fees for that. Just make sure you know your custom laws. Make sure that they will allow that to come inside. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious. Remember, as is, no guarantees and no returns. You only got a minute to win it. Let's go. Here we go. The bidding is on football cards. Whatever pounds football cards you have. Doug Altman is at $76. Andy came in at $32. Treasure Box Boxland came in at $45. We got a Lone Star Picker at $31, but we still have to beat Doug Altman is at $76. Doug Altman is at $76. Still, high bid is Doug at $76. Bargain Retail Sean MC coming in at $45. Not there, but Treasure Boxland. 78 and the Lone Star Picker is 77. Treasure Box Land now is high bid at 78. Shirley Pearl is now at 77. Shirley Pearl might be lagging behind just a little bit. 78 is the high bid. Treasure Box Land, 18 seconds to go. All the cards. Doug Altman now is at 87. Took that 78, twisted around at 87. Shirley Pearl is at 80. Doug Altman is high bidder at 87. Shirley Pearl is trying to get in at 80. Five seconds to go and four. And three and two. Doug Altman still high bidder at 87. One. Come on. What's happening? Four people racing is at 95. Let's see what happens. Shirley Pearl at 89. What was what going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And it's so Four people racing 95. Four people racing 95. 95. Shirley Pearl. Is I think your backup bidder at 89. Four people racing. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to send your YouTube name. Real name, shipping address, email address, bam, right there, right now. Go ahead and send a message to George right now. Yep, right now. 
with that information, your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your email address, George will send you out an invoice. Probably not tonight. It'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow night, she'll send you an invoice. You have 72 hours to pay that invoice. If that invoice isn't paid within 72 hours, you'll be blocked and you will be banned from the actual channel. So we don't want that to ever happen. Shirley, go ahead and send George your backup information. So next lot here we, oh my goodness. <laughs> She's got like a casket tote, a uh, tote the size of a casket on the table right now. Give or take I think it's all Build-A-Bear. And it looks like Build-A-Bear, 17 pounds of Build-A-Bear with accessories as she just weighed it in the tote just weighed it in the tote look at the hello kitty and the little slippers oh, dill hole just sent 99 bam and lisa says hot bitter was 101 lisa you're seeing something we are not Did the moderators confirmed didn't they yeah yeah there's no high bitter 101 that i see Yeah, one the 101 bid was after sold. Oh, yeah. Anything so after a, sold doesn't the same count. Thing. Just the same Here's thing a My Little Pony you. build a bear. Some of these are going up for crazy prices. The My Little Pony ones, and then here's a little a little one. Okay, this is all build a bear. All build a bear. Dan Long again. No, we can't see you. All <laughs> build a bear. So she's got a giant tote of Build-A-Bear. Grimes the loves the ponies. He says he loves the unicorn. The horns. unicorn, yeah. Super cute. It's got a rainbow tail. Holy cow, it's hot in here. Here's one of the chipmunks. She's got her beach towel. You, you guys, that? you guys okay if I uh no. No shirt, no shoes, no service. I'll leave. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm going to a basement where He's it's got, actually Here's cool. a doctor that's got some bear sprin. Get it? Instead of aspirin, bear sprin. He's got his scrubs on. Cute. Bear spring. Here's a dinosaur. That nice. actually. Now, we've shared with you guys before how to look this stuff up. Okay. So your eBay app, I've said this so many times, your eBay app, you got to have, if you're a reseller, you have absolutely got to have, look at her cute got little to have poodle skirt. eBay app, okay? So if you see here on my phone, boom, boom, let me see if I can get it to focus. Probably can't. There you go. My eBay app is right there. Thanks, Tony Gonzalez. $2.99 for me to get new socks. And Bam. Thank you so much. Uh, Olaf, he's a Build-A-Bear. Yeah, Olaf's a Build-A-Bear. So what you do is you would actually go into your eBay app. I'm going to type in right now Build-A-Bear. You guys are going to be shocked. If you guys go into thrift stores, okay? I've tried to tell you guys. I've, I've done thrifting videos to teach you guys. Candy corn. Always, always look at this stuff. Usually your Goodwills are going to have Build-A-Bears for $0.50, cents, a dollar, maybe $2.00. And if you go to your sold listings, if you go to your sold listings in eBay, which I'm going to right now, go into sold, and then I'm going to sort highest to lowest. That's what we want. We showed this last time. This is this is insanity. It's this is crazy. Now we're not saying we have these particular build a bears in this lot, so don't misinterpret. But please focus. Okay, these are build a bears going for over five hundred dollars. All right, five hundred dollars. So what you guys should be doing? Let's just scroll down to some of the three hundred, four hundred dollar ones. What you guys should be doing is she's showing this to you. That was you guys one. should be on your eBay app checking each one. Like if there's a red fox or build a bear Lewis red fox, you should be on there. If she showed it, I don't know if she did. I wasn't looking. But you should be price checking all of this so you know where to bid, how high to bid to make sure you have a profit margin, okay? 
That was last All right. Time. There's 15. She says there's 15 Build-A-Bears with accessories. 15 Build-A-Bears with accessories, all as is, no guarantees, and no returns. So we're not saying any are brand new. They are in as is condition as they came from the auction, from the storage unit, and $25 starting bid. Free shipping within the United States. You only have one minute to win it. Let's go. Who's going to own the unicorn horns tonight? Del Hole said, just grin and bear it. Cheryl is in at 75. Cheryl's in at 75. Granite City Picker said, some go for 2 to $10. Yep, they do. Oh, my goodness. We got bids everywhere. Pat Dees is at 125 I saw Pat Dees at 125 I think that's the highest bid right now. Pat Dees was at 125 There are $100 bids everywhere. Karen Miller's at 175 Eileen Glazer's at 175 Karen Miller's high bidder right now at 175 Heather Blackwell's at high bidder at 200 Heather Blackwell is now high bidder at 200 I saw another 200 bid, but Heather Blackwell is high bidder. Woo! And 15 seconds to go. Eileen Glazer, 225 Eileen Glazer is now high bidder at 225 Cheryl Darling came in at 220. Eileen Glazer is still high bidder at 225. Oh my goodness, what is going to happen? These ladies love these ponies. Heather Blackwell came in at 226. Karen Miller came in at 240. C. Russell came in at 250. Oh my goodness. Lenny Baker came in at 230. And it is C. Russell at 250. C. Russell, 250. Nice job. Congratulations. Nice job. All right, C. Russell. C. Russell, here's what you're going to do. You're going to send your YouTube name, real name, your shipping address, and your email address, bam, right there to what the hell's at yahoo.com. You're going to do that right now. I don't think I showed this. Don't hesitate. One. Apparently, she didn't show that one. That one's part of it, too, C. Russell. So don't hesitate. Go ahead and send that message to George right now. Backup bidder. Backup bidder was. Uh, my been Karen Miller at 240. C Russell's at 250. All right, Karen Miller. You it looks to me like you are backup bidder. Karen Miller, backup bidder at 240. Send all your information as well. Your YouTube name, real name, shipping address, and email address. Bam. Right there. If C Russell doesn't pay, guess what, Karen? You get it for 240. So let's Hope for the, well, actually, let's hope to see Russell's face. But if he doesn't, you'll be all right. That's the way it works here. All right. She's got, oh my goodness, what has she got now? Here we go. For We've all, got that was a lot for the ladies. Here comes a lot uh, for the men. Fishing, there's fishing lures, there's sinkers, there's jigs, there's hooks, there's worms. Poor people racing, I saw your email come through. And you do, by the way, you will get an auto response. If you message us on Facebook or Yahoo anytime, you'll get, a, you'll get an automated response always. So if you get an automated response, don't worry. Everything's okay. We got the robot. We have to set it up. We have to set it up as an auto response. All right, she's got all kinds of. I just got an email as well. There's a new O light coming out. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me check it really quick as I want to see which one it is. We love we love them O lights. Okay. They are pretty awesome. Oh 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 oh! Check this out. They're going to be releasing the M2R Pro, and it's going to be the patriotic edition. Nice. It's going to be all flag. No way! All right, I gotta I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I, this, this is the one I gave Chelsea. These are bronze hooks. Here, I'm going to show them which one is coming out. So this is the this is the tactical one. It's actually a weapon as well. You see the spikes on the end. So I gave one of these to my oldest daughter. And they're going to come out with the patriotic version. So it's going to be all red, white, and blue. Love these things. So I gave I gave one of these to Chels. Actually, I think I gave one to Conky too, the same one. But I gave one to Chels, which Chelsea's gonna be 22 July 25th. And I told Chelsea, I was like, this thing, this is your wham! Somebody comes up to you. I love, I love that thing. That warrior is so cool. That is gonna be, that is gonna be, that's gonna be awesome. Why she's talking about fishing lures and showing you fishing lures, I'm I'm looking at the new one coming out. 
How many fishing lures do you have? There's 65 packages, but you get way more than 65 pieces. They're just packages, 65 packages. 65 packages. Vicky says, when are they releasing it? Uh, I just are... got a message. July 20, the, the sale is going to be on July 20th. Patriotic These version. These are cheese-scented awesome. worms. Cheese-scented. Okay, George wants me back in the actual uh, thing now before I get in trouble. But it will be July 20th, and it will be the patriotic version of the Warrior, and I love the Warrior. Okay, so all kinds Here's of fishing lures. Idea. Vintage fishing lures. Jigs. Jigs, sinkers, cheese scented hooks, worms, cheese scented worms. I'm sweating like a fat kid. I'm gonna need a sweatband just around everything. A lot of these are the Kmart brand, and Kmart went out of business. Aaron said, so "Fish can smell." <laughs> All right. $25 starting bid, free shipping in with the United States. So 65 packages, but some packages include three. 65 packages. Some packages include multiple lures or whatever is in their jigs. Whatever it is as regards to fishing, this is the fishing lot. And it's as is, no guarantees, no returns. Make sure if you're bidding and you're outside of the country that your custom laws will not hold these back as far as weapons. You never know with a hook. You just never know. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious because you only have one minute to win it. Let's go. Here we go. This is the Fishing Lure Lot. Thomas Cap says hello from Fort Myers, Florida. I love Fort Myers. Uncle Bob Nose is now at 65. Look at that. Chris Wiley is at 80. Doug Altman is at 125 already. There are bids coming left and right. I think Doug, Doug Altman is the high bidder right now at 125. Second win, Oregon came in at 125, but he's going to have to win against Doug. You're going to have to go up. Second win, Oregon, if you go. Oh, Lone Star Picker came in at 126. Wait, wait, wait. Second win, Oregon is now at 135. I can't even keep up with everything. Matt Jackson is now at 200. Matt Jackson is at 200 with 20 seconds left to go. Cecilia, she came in at 130, but she's way behind the 200 mark. Come on. Here we go. Here we Uncle Bo go. Uncle says he's out. Uncle Bo says he's out. We're still at 200. 200. Liz says best place to go fishing is under bridge when it's when it's raining. They don't want the fish to get wet. And <laughs> we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and say Denise Meyer's bid of 990 was an incorrect bid. And uh, boom, 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 boom. She must boom. have meant 90. Yeah, probably. And alluring lures. Bam! Flippin' Adventure said sold. All right, where was Woo! our we were at? I think it was Matt. Matt Jackson was at the two hundred dollar bid. Nice job, Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson, you're gonna send your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and even if your YouTube name and your real name are the same, you're gonna send them both. And your email address, bam, right there. See it there? What the hell's at yahoo.com? George will send you an invoice tomorrow evening. You'll have 72 hours to send that invoice. You're going to send that message now, right now. Don't waste any time. Go ahead and send it right now. And then backup bidder. Matt Jackson was at 200. Backup bidder was... Backup bidder was... Let me see. I see second win over at 135. 135. I think... I think it's second win to Oregon at 135. Pretty sure. Just double checking. Second win to Oregon. Looks like your backup bidder at 135. So same thing. You want to send your YouTube name, real name, shipping address, and email address. Bam, right there at what the at yahoo.com. And Dillhole just said, was it Dillhole? Yep, it was Dillhole. Dillhole just sent 279. My wife saw Lures and yelled, not me. <laughs> Fishing isn't for everyone, but they sell really well. Catfishing. That's what George did to me when I met her. What? You catfished me. What does that even mean? You don't know what catfishing is? Please. You know what catfishing is. Catfishing. All right. Next lot is electronic games. You told me Mini you were Net Asian. Tune. You told me you were Asian. It comes with the instructions. You. Told me you were Asian. You catfished me. What? Stop. Apparently she's not in the mood tonight. 
brain teasers. These look unopened. She told me to stop. She told me to stop, so I'm just gonna leave. She's looking at me with evil eyes. All right, so um, <laughs> how about them electronic games? Uh, she's doing a game lot. She's doing a game lot. Uh, Rev Resale said you were bottom fishing when you catfished me. <laughs> oh, he's funny, but I'm not. I don't not. even know what that means. He's funny, but I'm not. I don't even Is, know what that's that how means. it's gonna be. Jeopardy. She knows exactly what it means. Look at her playing though. This isn't an electronic game, but it's an equalizer. A vintage. Uh, uh, do you know how much that's worth? An equalizer. That GPS. That's G. Guys, that's an I old Walkman. That's a Walkman it's right vintage, there. It's vintage, so it's worth something. That's the GPX Walkman. Look this up now if you're bidding. Look this up. You, Yahtzee. You absolutely want to look that up. I didn't even know she had that in a lot. She's been grabbing stuff. Yeah, because we want to give everyone an awesome deal. She's just grabbing stuff. Karen, we got Karen Miller, we got your email for the runner up for the Build a Bear. Thank you so much. Two of Scrabbles. Oh, Scrabble, Scrabble Flash. Flash. Are you sweating as much as I am? No, this feels amazing to me. Simon Flash. This does work. See it light up. Rookie's Boo said, Auction off more of his stuff. <laughs> So there's a total of 18. 18. Electronic gestures. 18 games or puzzles or Walkmans. Okay. Walkmans. Untested. You, I would assume you didn't test this, correct? Mm -mm. Untested. Look at that. It even has the equalizer on it right there. Isn't that crazy? GPS came out with it. Equalizer, AM, FM, radio. I don't know how she got that in there with the with the games, but there it is. It's in there. Spencer wants to know, what is the model number? Here you go, Spencer. I'll show it to you right there. I'll actually give you a chance to look it up on eBay, too. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Come on. Oh, there we go. Go ahead, everybody can look it up. So you have an opportunity to look it up. Look at that. You've got the belt clip. Bam. All right. You got the game lot. You got the game lot. Yep. So how many are there? There's how many a total things? Of 18 items in this lot. 18 items in the lot. And the GPS, GPX X. equalizer, old Walkman. Vintage Walkman. Amy says she found the Walkman listed for 119. Remember, you always want to look at sold, not listed. Sold is where we get our real value for things. So she says it's listed for 119. We'll give you guys a chance to see. Uh, now, okay, so Nana Tink Treasure said it, there was a sold average of $30 on the Walkman. I don't feel so bad now. Some of these Walkmans, you absolutely have to check because some can go a couple hundred. Lowest, yeah, if you list it right, you can get more. All right, Funky Fluff said one sold for 25. All right, there we go. Dan said one, I saw one for 20. Guys, this is great that you guys are actually putting into practice what, what we're yeah, teaching this you. Is so actually, I'm, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled that you guys are actually getting on eBay and looking up prices and finding this stuff for yourself. I'll just give it all to you for free now. Who wants it? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just glad you guys are all, all doing it. All right. Pennsylvania Williamson, $2. Thank you so much. That's a super sticker. Appreciate we it. We appreciate it. All right, here we go. If I can get myself all set. All right, $25 starting bid on this lot. Free shipping within the United States. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious because you only got one minute to win it. Let's go. 55 seconds to go. Who's going to be the first bid? We're going to find out here real quick. We got Julie Morrison at 35. Andy Hammer at 45. We got Anthony USMC at 35. 
Matt Jackson came in at 150. Matt Jackson came in at 150. I got 50s and 60s and 55s and 79.99s everywhere. Matt Jackson is in at 150. Matt Jackson in at 150. 30 seconds to go. We got Melinda Young at 160. Melinda Young came in now at 160. 25 seconds to go. There were bids everywhere. Matt and then Melinda put the gauntlet down. Put it down. 15 seconds to go. Matt's out now. Matt said, okay, Melinda, it's all yours at 160. It's a gray area. It's not 161. It's a gray area. is isn't done yet. Crystal D is now at 180. Matt Flagaaka is at 159. <laughs> Atlanta Lakers at 175. Crystal D is still at 180. Crystal D is still at 180. We got Ellen E's Glazer at 185. Ellen, Ellen, Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> Eileen. And oh, Krista D. 195, Krista D. Woo! Nice job. Congratulations. Eileen. Eileen is back up bitter at 185. Krista D at 195. Nice job. Krista D, here's what you're going to do. You're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, even if they're the same, your shipping address and your email address. Bam. Right there. What the at Yahoo.com. Go ahead. I'll, I haven't seen Amy here tonight either. Maybe she hasn't seen a lot that she's interested in yet. Maybe. So, Krista, you're going to go ahead and send that email. Do it right now. Get it done right now. Send it over to George. And then, and who is backup bidder on that? I know. I'm just, oh, Eileen. Eileen, your backup bidder, same thing. Send all your info right there. If it comes up for your backup bid, Eileen, it'll be all yours. But Krista's going to send her information right now. As a matter of fact, it's probably, what's that? What's that phone? What? What? Krista sending a message right now. <laughs> Timmy fell in the hole. Uh, second win, Oregon backup bidding on the fishing lures. We didn't get the first bid yet, our uh, first bidder, but we got the backup bid. Make sure you guys get your emails in. Give or take 13 pounds. Playing All cards. right, 13 pounds of playing cards. You got to be ready for the next quarantine. So here it is. Playing cards, playing cards, playing cards. Lots and lots of playing cards. There is 52 Barnes, sets of playing cards. 52 sets of playing cards. That's like 52 card pickup. You did that on purpose. No, I didn't. You this didn't? looks new. It looks sealed. Cayman Islands. That one probably is. Sealed. Hey, who just said? This looks um, sealed. Liz Barnes says, I've been selling things all weekend because I'm learning so, so much. That's so great. That's New phenomenal. York. Absolutely great. So 52 sets of cards. And then there's a set of Yeah, Anthony poker USMC chips. said, I've seen unopened cards go for big money. They do. We tell this to you guys all the time. If there, it, there is somebody out there collecting something, anything you can think of, there's a collector out there. There really These is. These are sealed. No, some more sealed. Dill hole, 99 cents. Thank you so much. These Bam. are sealed. Oh, more sealed. These look sealed. So, George is telling you they look sealed. I Those ones don't look sealed to me, but... You see the seal? I see plastic, but it looks like maybe they were out of the plastic. Maybe I'm wrong. London. So, it looks like she's got a bunch. A There's bunch. Jumbo playing cards. Oh, you got the jumbo playing cards. And it's got the Jokers. That's what I would want to play poker with. I think they should do poker tournaments with jumbo playing cards. What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I said it. It's out now. <laughs> it's out now. I think you can't that unhear they, it. They, you can't unhear it. I think that poker tournaments should be played with jumbo playing cards. Jason Legrand just sent two, two, $10. Just able to join in. Look forward to watching tonight's live tomorrow. Just couldn't stop going through hails of a good unit. I just picked up oh, loved nice. all the video. Oh, Congratulations. nice, Jason. Good job on the awesome. unit. Bam. Nice job. We love to hear people got good units. Love it. Absolutely love we it. We love hearing your success stories. Michael Whalen just said you're going to lose five pounds and weight sweat and water. I put on 10 eating Papa John's and garlic butter tonight. He loves his I garlic love butter. I love garlic butter. And he I'll, complains about my garlic breath, but he loves Papa John's garlic butter. I love Papa John's garlic butter. 
But her garlic breath, she, it's not her breath. She breathes it. It's part of That's her pores. Breath. It's her essence. It's her everything. She will smell like it for a week. I... All kinds of cards here. Andy wants to know, are these cards new? Andy, we it's told a you. combination. We told you when they're new. And remember, everything is as some is. Some are open, some are No sealed. guarantees. Oh, it looks like there's two of these. Those ones are obviously sealed. Hershey's. This looks sealed. Oh, nice. Hershey's syrup. Garlic. George George came up to uh, the studio, which is where we're at right now. George came up. Oh, it's like those old wooden uh, old wooden poker chips, yeah. right? And then you can put your deck of put cards, the in, deck here. cards in there. She goes, I'm going to go get Papa John's. I was like, what? Say what? She's like, I, don't, I haven't smelled like garlic for a day. I'm going to go get Papa John's. <laughs> but, All right. <laughs> These look sealed. And Dill Holes sent 279. Don't burp in your mask, man. It's brutal. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? The funny thing is, is the garlic butter, like my last my last bite of pizza, I actually took the garlic butter cup and I went and I poured it in my mouth. For all you 49er fans. Remember, 52 packs of cards. Plus if, the vintage. If we counted correctly. Which by we I mean George, because I didn't have anything to do with These this. These look sealed. London Transport Souvenir. All kinds of cards. You see all these bugs on the lights? These I'm going to get the bugs. These sealed. And those, that's it. That's it? Those were all of the card lots. <laughs> so it's a combination of sealed and... Pre-owned playing cards. Just getting all the bugs off the umbrella lights. All right. 52 card lot. Some sealed, some pre-used. As is, no guarantees. None of them, none of the decks have we been haven't checked. Been counted. None of them have been counted. None of them have been checked. So as is, no guarantees. And $25 starting bid. You guys know the drill. Oh, you get the chips in there too. So you got the cards and the old wooden chips. Okay. So that's part of the lot as well. Anything else I need to know? No. That's you get it. the jumbo cards when this whole poker tournament jumbo card thing catches on. You'll be the first. Yoli, have one minute to win it. Let's go. Matty Dom is at 25. We got our $25 starting bid. Yes, very ironic. 52 decks of cards. That is very that ironic. That was not planned. Georgina Ray is at 30. Doug Allman is at 77. Doug has got the high bid at 77. One with the stone is at 75, but Doug still has 77. Andy Abner is now at 79. Andy Abner is now at 79. I think we've got a uh, Michelle. I have no idea what Michelle Romeo was trying to do. I think there's a little mistype there. Doug now, guys. 74 now at 95. 95 for Doug and Guy, 74. 95 is a high bid. We got Dumac Nasser at 81. We got Doug Allman at 77. Dumac Nasser now is at 96. 96. Here we go. Lots of cool, lots of cool cards here. If you are lagging, if you are lagging, we'll talk about how to fix that right after this. 98. Now we got Doug Altman at 101. Doug Altman is at 98. Now we're at 101. And 101. 101 at Doug Altman, 101 at Doug, Demac Naster Knack is at 102. 102. Demac Naster Knack at 102. So! Demaster Knack. Demaster Knack, 102. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Spencer goes, my computer is lagging bad tonight. We'll, we'll talk about how to figure that out, okay? All right. So, uh, Kenneth Bloom, if you bid 125 for the football cards before it sold, that didn't happen. If you go back and you watch the live stream after it's all done, you will see it in full view as it happened. Our mods don't make mistakes. And so Our I realize you think fine. you did, but you didn't. It won't be in the actual chat. Okay? So you can go back later 
And then if you go back later and you go, well, there it is, then we can talk about it. But until then, we'll we've have got more, we'll have more we got parts. the master knack. Is that 102 the master knack? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna send your YouTube name. You're gonna send your real name, your shipping address, and your email address. Bam, right there. The one thing is at yahoo.com. Nice job. You're gonna go ahead and send that email right now. Send it now. Don't wait. And then backup bidder was Doug Altman. Doug, your backup bidder at 101. So Doug, you're gonna do the same thing. YouTube name, real name, shipping address, and email address. Bam, right down there. So nice job. Nice job. The master knack, high bidder on the cards. And if everything goes into quarantine again, like everything is anticipating, like everybody's saying it's going to happen, cards are going to be a high demand on eBay again. Games. And you're all set to sell. Games, board games, Puzzles. cards, video games. Oh, man, ladies, I hope you're ready. Ouch. All right. Ow. As George is prepping this next lot, some of you are lagging pretty bad, so let's let's address that really quick. Number one, it's not it's not us, okay? Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. I got money down. Saying I was at one fifty. One second. Let me check it. Let me check it. One hundred two. She was one hundred one, but the winning was one hundred two. The mods confirmed that it was the max master. Matadam, you are actually after the sold. So if you go back, same thing as Kenneth Bloom. If you go back afterwards when this whole live stream is over and you watch this in real time, then you're going to see that it was flipping adventures that sold, then your bid came in. What YouTube will do sometimes is when you personally at home on your device, when you make a comment, it'll jump yours up for some reason in the chat. We don't know why they do it, but they do it. But in the real live chat, as it's actually happening in real time, you are right after. So unfortunately, that bid did not count. Okay? All right. So okay. Refresh live chat. So here's the deal. If you guys are actually, if you guys are lagging, you want to refresh. You want to refresh your computers right now. And then you want to make sure that you put it back on live chat. So we're on the highest stream fiber optics. We're plugged right into the fiber optics from the highest stream fiber optics you possibly can be on. You cannot get anything higher than what we are on. So nine times out of 10, it's your actual internet at home if you're lagging. It could be your processor in your in your device as well, but it's typically it's your, it's your internet at home that's lagging. So if you hit that refresh and then you get back on live chat, remember it's extremely important that you're on live chat, then you sh you can cut down that lagging a little bit. Do it bit, in okay? between lots to refresh. Yeah, you can lot. do it in between every lot if that's what helps. A lot goes up, and then it's sold. Refresh, get back on live chat in between lots. George has a purse lot now. This one is super cute. And it, it's looks Bradley. it looks all like one like big Vera Bradley. Coin. It looks like it's one big coin purse. Look at how it opens. That is a giant coin purse. <laughs> Oh, you know who has enough coins to put in that giant coin purse? Who? Really? You don't know who, who has enough coins to put in that giant coin purse? Who do you speak of? Uh, Derek sent a message for the playing cards. Nice job. Oh, we got okay. Krista. Krista sent the message for the electronics as well. Nice job. Uh, you would be the one that has enough coins to put in that coin purse when... So should I replace that with Lucky Bag? Pull this out of the lot? I don't know. That would be... <laughs> that would be... I don't. How, how are we actually going to see it, though? How are we going to see it if it's not clear on Lucky Bag? So again, as she's showing purchases, like she just showed the coat, okay? We do not know. I pretty much can tell you this is not a real Gucci. Now she's showing you a Gucci. That does not feel like a real Gucci. And that was in the $180 unit uh, where we, yeah, we tell you the, the dead body was found, where the manager shares about finding the dead body. So I can tell you that's not a real Gucci just by touching it. The coach we have not checked. So remember, everything is as is, no guarantees, and no returns. If you buy this lot and you're like, man, I really, I thought that was a real Gucci. You you robbed me. What the hails? 
No returns. Or if you see a bag you want from the winning bidder and you just want to buy it, network with each other. That's probably a real relic. Relic but, is made by Fossil. I don't know. Yeah, Fossil. I was just making relic. a joke. I just didn't think Relic was worth anything. It's made by Fossil. I just was saying nobody would make a fake Relic. Would anybody make a fake Relic? I don't know. Dill Hole sent 99 Canadian. Bam! Terry just sent $5. Love the coin pressure videos. Are you up, down, or even overall? Uh, Terry, Me? we are... It's a good question. We only let our accountant know. <laughs> <laughs> George George never, ever, ever wants to talk uh, income. And if I start talking income, she'll start well, pinching me under the table. We mentioned that we don't show all the videos. You don't see everything. Yeah. So we tell you that she loses. And, and if you've watched any of the videos, you can see how easy it is to lose. So there's been a couple of times where we should have just given up. And most people would have. You know, when you got a when you got a buy-in, when you play high stakes, you got a buy-in like that. You get you got enough for one buy-in, you're done. So that's uh you've seen you've seen it where it is not an easy thing just because it looks easy so for example george says this all the time she goes i make buying storage units look easy because i make a lot of money on it just because it looks easy doesn't mean that it is easy if you apply all the things that we teach you and you do those things it'll be easy for you but you have to you have to do those things appropriately you are glitching like crazy over there Oh, I don't know why it does that. I think the hardware makes it glitch. She's got a glitch. Dill Hole said, let Jeremy play. We want to see it. All right, that's it. All right. Hana Purse is there, it looks like. I don't even know how many 14. you got. 14 and items. Vera Bradley jewelry box. Vera Bradley jewelry box. 14 total items. Wreck-It, Wreck-It, Ralph. That's my favorite Disney animated. I love Wreck-It, Ralph. She got the glitch. All right, so 14 items in this lot. $25 starting bid. Free shipping within the United States. If you're outside the United States, you're more than welcome to bid. There will be additional shipping fees on that lot as well. Everything is as is. No guarantees, no returns. You got to bid fast. You got to bid fierce because you only have one minute to win it. Here we go. Here we go. Bear Kitty said the purses are making me sleepy. Record Grrr, man, $50. We got Kimberly at 45. We got Tamara at 50. We got Roger, Roger Keyman. I think it's Roger Keyman at 50. Oh my goodness. Poor people racing. Is that 300 or 30 did you mean? Make sure you clarify that. I'm not going to take your 300 unless I know for sure it's a 300. Anthony, USMC is at 80. I think that's the high bid right now. Pamela Lynn. Pamela Lynn out of the blue. $100. Woo, Pamela. Pamela Lynn out of the blue. Here we go. Pamela Lynn is $100. High bidder. Pamela Lynn. Charlotte Pearl's at 81. Pamela Lynn still high bidder with $100. Five seconds to go. In two, one, and poor people racing clarified that was a real bid at 300. Poor people racing 300. It is poor people racing for 300. Woo! 300 poor people racing. Oh. You blew them all out of the water. You blew them all out of the water. You scared them all. Pamela Lynn, you are backup bidder. Poor people racing, bam, right there. All your information. You send your YouTube name, real name, shipping address, and your email address right there. What pales at yahoo.com. And then Pamela, it was Pamela. No, wait, yeah, it was Pamela. It was at hundred dollars. So Pamela Lynn, same thing, bam, right there. And if everybody is still lagging, you know what that means. It means it's a hot one tonight in America. And everybody is on the internet, and so your internet is overloaded. So now's a good time to refresh again and make sure you're on live. Whoa, man, over 18 pounds. Is this a second chance? Second chance. This is a second chance lot. This isn't second sense. This is second chance. All 
All of these shorts. This was showed last week. All the shorts. The Somebody bailed unit. on you, George. It was from the same unit. The guy bought nothing but high-end clothes. Size 36. Cabela's. Size 36 shorts. I bet everybody's wishing they had these now. Cabela's. It's so hot. It is hot. He H pretty much bought Cabela's in every shade possible. They did. Every every color Cabela's came in, size 36, he, he was wearing it. He was wearing it. Dilho, going to bed, working at 5.30 a.m. Bye, y'all. Good night. Night, Dilho. Thank you. Man, I can't imagine having to get up at 5.30 a.m. to go to work. What time did you I get up before today? To go to an auction. I know it's crazy. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you have before to go to auctions. I can't stand it. I got out of Doctors. bed at 10 a.m. today, but I had I've been working late on editing. It is it is not it is not an easy thing to run multiple businesses and and channel. then do YouTube. It, it's just insanity sometimes. It really is. It's insanity. I don't know how it all gets done, but sure willpower in all reality. That's how it gets done. Sure willpower. All right. Lots of people in here looking at my pants. Oh, wait. These aren't mine. These are somebody else's. George took his pants too, people. You don't even wear a size 36. You trying to say I'm too fat for a 36? I'm a solid 38 <laughs> if I put a rubber band on the button. I'm not saying I can button up a 38, but... These are golf shorts? It's been a while. I was in a 36 when I met you. Were you? Yeah, I was probably 34 when I met you. Hmm. Then you keep bringing Papa John's pizza home with garlic butter. Your favorite. It is my favorite. We do like to treat ourselves once in a while. That and Chick Fil A. We treat ourselves to Papa John's and Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. If if we go anywhere where we know there's going to be a Chick Fil A, there's a planned stop at Chick Fil A without a doubt. Without a doubt. Mookie Pookie said, "I'm perfectly thick." <laughs> Hashtag dad bod. Dad bods are in. Yeah, I used to actually be pretty pretty built. Now I can seal my weapons. Do, does do the viewers know that you used to be way heavier? Uh do you probably want to share not. that. The most I ever weighed, George wants me to actually we should do that in a coin pusher video. Okay. But the most I ever weighed was 279.6 pounds. And this morning I was 228 pounds. Uh I was stress eating like crazy as an executive director of a nonprofit ministry, traveling all over, eating. There was one day in when you're when you're when you're in leadership and you're making all it's relationship based. And so meal, 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 meal. Uh, rev rev resale. Dave, Dave and Nick and people eat know and about this. It is eating and eating and eating and eating because that's where ministry happens. And so there was one day I had three lunches with three different pastors. No joke. None of them knew that I'd already eaten before. So the first one was an early lunch at 11. Then I had a normal lunch at one. Then I had a late lunch at three. I had to eat three lunches that day working, working. It was crazy. It was crazy. Right, that was it. There are 21 pairs of shorts. All right. 21 pairs of shorts. And then five pairs of socks. Five pair of socks. And George says she's ready for your second chance. You didn't get it the first time. Now, second time. Jane Lord says, how tall are you? Jane, I am six foot one with no shoes on. But his personality is seven foot one. And George's personality, when she gets mad, 700 foot one. <laughs> All right. Ten feet tall. Tabs and Nana. Nana t tabs and Nana. Tabs Two dollars. Thank you so much. Bam. Appreciate it. All right. $25 starting bid, free shipping in here within the United States. Let's go. You only got a minute to win it. Woo! Always, always food. 
Here we go. All right, Treasure Box Land is in at 45. We got Uncle Bo knows at 70. George just ran off. I have no idea where she just ran off to. She literally just ran. Poor People Racing is at 85. Aaron Breeden is now at 90. We got 35 seconds of Aaron Breeden. That's 90. Maria, I don't know why she keeps getting rid of my pants, my shorts. I mean, if I wore it, she tries to get rid of it. Poor People yeah, Racing, George. 95. 95 now. These shorts all belong to the same guy, and it's not you. 95. Doug Altman at 90. Oh, Poor People Racing's got him at 95. Got everybody scared at 95. Tamara came in at 91. Doesn't even come anywhere near close to 95. Five, four, three. Two. Did you literally just burp in the <laughs> microphone? I don't think you heard me. Aaron Breeden is at 101. No one heard me. Aaron Breeden is at 101. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh Aaron Breeden, 101. Hey, Aaron. Nice job. Woo, nice job. Aaron, you are high bidder at 101. Aaron, you're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, even if they're the same. Your shipping address and your email address, bam, right there. What the hell is that? Yahoo. If you guys want to buy a pair, Aaron, share your email. Uh, yeah. If you want to buy something from Aaron, you guys can go ahead and talk to Aaron about that. Backup bidder was, I believe, Aaron Breeden was that 101. Did we have a 99? All right. I think we got, I think Bear Kitty was back up at 99, I believe. 99 that's what i'm seeing right now okay so bear kitty same thing with you i'm curious did anybody hear george burp on the microphone when that was going on anybody <laughs> no. at all so for those no. who don't know i've talked about this before she burps non-stop she doesn't give it a second thought she's just everywhere blah, sometimes blah. it comes out in mid-sentence she does not think twice about it are but, you gonna admit that right, you so do yes, the same yes, thing yes, yes, are you yes, gonna admit yes, that yes, you do yes, the same yes. thing all right they all heard you <laughs> so <laughs> They all heard you. So it, she does it all the time. Well, when are you going to admit that you do it too? I don't. Burp. I learned I, from you. I oh learned from goodness. the great puppet master, everyone. He made it okay. He set the boundaries that it's okay to burp in mid sentence. And so I just ran met, with it. When we met, I said it was okay. All right. So here we go. 12, over 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Of paper. This is paper. Vintage music sheets. Did somebody say. Paper? Vintage music sheets here, guys. Tonky said, no, I didn't hear a burp. I heard a belch. 1936. 1936. 1936 here. Most of these are piano, some um, guitar. Spencer says you need a pay raise. Uh, George is currently making more income gross than I am. I think she'll be okay. False. Oh, but she's going to argue False. it. Uh, Cecilia, definitely not. Definitely not. What? What did Cecilia say? Well, after you went, False. False. 1921. She said, is there going to be a kiss tonight? Uh, oh, she meant a kiss lot. I thought she meant, are you going to kiss me? Are you going to kiss me tonight? Yep. Not, not gonna. on camera. False. No PDAs. Uh, I don't know if she has a kiss lot or not. You're going to have to stay tuned and see what happens here. I have no idea what she put together. I've been working so hard on editing. These are all vintage music lots, mostly like in the 20s, 30s, 40s. All kinds of, look at this, vintage music. I've been working so hard on editing and sweat editing, been sweat -editing. editing and sweat editing that I don't know what she put together. 1952. They should all be looking up vintage music sheets on the eBay's. All right, you should be looking this all up right now. Check in. Aaron Breeden just sent you a message for the shorts. And Ooh, Pamela, short sent, shorts. Pamela sent her uh, her backup bid. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, Maria says music sheets are really neat. 
to collect their brain. That was a good idea. I yeah. think Pinterest are, gives you like a lot you, of ideas. If you ideas. sell these, you can send these out media mail, which is much cheaper than first class. All kinds of music here. Mostly piano, I think, from what I see. There is a total of 94 music sheets. 94 music sheets. They're dusty old manuscripts. <laughs> That's what they are. 94 dusty old manuscripts. These are just as old as your racing programs. Some of them can go for just as much. Depending on the, yep, depending on the song, depending on the music sheet, they can go for a lot. Yep. Midwest Picker said, wow, 94. I got a feeling Midwest Picker has his eye on this already. Yeah. But he also he also knows. I think some people are paper. going, oh, music doesn't sell. And others are going, well, it sells good for us. Midwest Picker knows paper. Yeah. He knows his paper. So the, guys, paper sells. I tell, I say this in almost Even every video. I say this in almost every video where we find paper. Don't throw the paper away without checking it online on eBay first. Don't throw it away. I always check paper. I, some of the most expensive things I've sold on eBay were pieces of paper. And it's this so easy to ship. You can ship it media mail. So easy to ship. Paper makes money. Yeah, especially the older ones. Especially if the paper is money. <laughs> Dad joke. All right. Roger K. Man, send a buck 99. Do you find. Christonian pieces would love to bid. If we do, you'll see it right here. Bam! Man, I think battery's going a little low. Is it? Let me let me charge it up. Ah! <laughs> oh, which reminds me, for the build a bear lot, a yeah. lot of them you can squeeze and it makes noise. But some of them you need to replace the battery. Ah. And Sharon's saying good for mixed media projects. All kinds of things going on here. Midnight and shadows. Oh my god, are you showing every single one of these? She is. She's showing everyone. Everyone. Ninety-four of them. Ninety-four of them. Might as well keep going. Valerie sent nine ninety-nine with a super chicken. Super chicken. Appreciate it. Thank you, Valerie. Funky, Funky Fluffy wants to know what happened to Franken jeans. Dude, it's 95 <laughs> degrees in Ohio. I'm glad she stole my pants. He's it's that hot. With no pants. I got no AC in the house right now. The AC went down on a holiday and then a Sunday. No Franken pants. I mean, it, it's nice that they're air conditioned, but I ain't wearing them right now. I'm dying. I'm dying burning up i'm even burning up and i'm always cold look the boogie will all right i'll tell you i will here give me that one real quick i'll tell them another story all right abbott and costello you see this one here abbott and costello my mom's maiden name is abbott so abbott of abbott and costello is a distant relative believe it or not no way so i was bound for show business <laughs> <laughs> or I have no business being, being in, show, in show, business. show business. Although we're not in show business. We just make stupid videos and post it on YouTube. Post it on YouTube and for Which some anyone reason. anyone can do. Yeah, anybody and everybody. There is nothing. I, I've said this to so many people and so many times on our live streams and in our videos. There's absolutely nothing special that we do that somebody else can't do absolutely nothing and anybody can pick up a phone which is all we ever did and film on the phone tell a story everybody has a story to tell your story is different than mine mine's different than yours everybody has a story to tell and there's somebody who wants to hear it on youtube and so there's the, the literally there's anybody can do what we've what we've done you just got to be dedicated. You absolutely have to be dedicated. And you, prepared to lose sleep. Completely and totally committed. 
and lose sleep. And Mick Drake Draper, thank you so much for Buck ninety nine. Hence the music song. Yes, yes. Uh, but anybody, anybody can accomplish what we accomplish. And there's obviously there's points of success to get there. There's things you need to do and you need to do right. And there's those that have done it completely and totally wrong. But anybody can. It's all trial and error. Anybody can can accomplish what we've accomplished. All right. We're almost Last done. Last few, yep. Oh my goodness, we're almost done with 94. 94. 94. All right, that's it. This is the last one. All right, last one. 94 vintage music pieces right there with uh, old family member Abbott in one of them. $25 starting bid, free shipping in the United States. Everything is as is, no guarantees. Obviously, they're old. It's paper. There's going to be some rips and some tears and probably some writing. Make sure you take that into account. You got a bit fast. You got a bit furious because you only have one minute to win it. Let's go. All right. I think we got Sally Tennessee at 25. Nasdaq at 50. I think we got Nasdaq at 50. Shirley Pearls now at 77. Michael Welling came in at 25. Nasdaq at 50. Yes, this year at 25. We got everybody and anybody, anywhere and everywhere. Bear Kitty is now at 99. David and Junk Jar is at 50. Lady Luck Junk is at 65. Bear Kitty is at 99 still. There are bids everywhere. Tom finds treasure. 11 11 make a wish. I wish this sells like crazy. All right, <laughs> here we go. We've got Midwest Pickers now at 110. Shirley Pearl is at 107. Midwest Picker is at 110. High bid is at 110 with Midwest Picker. Shirley Pearls is back up at 107. What's going to happen? What is going to happen? Who the hells knows with eight seconds to go? Lady Luck jump, just jumped in. 120. 120. Shirley Pearl came back with 115, but Lady Luck Junk is in the lead at 120. Zero seconds to go. Zero seconds to go. Lady Luck Junk. Lady Luck Junk is at 120. Every Danger Rose Miles at 124. And so oh, Shirley Pearl just missed it. Shirley at 147. Just missed it, Shirley. Just missed it. Every day, treasures found. 124. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, Becca. That was an incredible purchase. That is, that is an incredible purchase. You should do really, really well on that paper. All right, Everyday Treasures, 124, and back up bid, I believe, was Shirley Pearl. You were back up at 115. So you guys know what to do. Wham! All the information right over there. Remember, there's still an opportunity for anybody and everybody to win Lucky Bag tonight. Lucky Bag will be given away to a lucky viewer. Ought to be. Some extra something, something. And she put something extra in there. Probably garlic. Whatever Just it is, it probably has garlic. All right, stamps. This is the first stamp lot from the Epic Train unit. All oh, right. Pounds. Now, somebody saw something in the stamps, an album, and said it was listed for two grand. And one sold. Oh, I think it might be the Liberty one right there. And one That's sold fun. for a thousand. So check this now. I, I, if I recall correctly, they said the Liberty. So you guys start looking. Start looking. Okay. Get on eBay. Get on eBay now. Oh, somebody's saying Lady Luck Junk was back up bitter. Did I screw up? Everyday Treasure. Everyday Treasure. Oh, Lady Luck Junk. I'm sorry. Lady Luck Junk, you are back up bitter at 120. Shirley Pearl, you are not back up bitter at 115. Lady Luck Junk is back up bitter at 120. Thank you, guys. Shirley for... could still email. I have more sheet music. So, uh, so Lady Luck like Junk. 1938 was the first stamp actually put into the book. 1938 was the first stamp in the book. No, it doesn't look like anything older than that. Oh, no, I take that back. There's a one cent stamp. One cent stamp. 1936. 1936. Mick said mother sold blue one for 2000 So the person that uh, the previous owner was a stamp collector and started to put stamps in the binder. And there's quite a few in here already. Yeah, there is. There's a lot. So you're looking stamp, 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 pages and pages and pages of stamps. stamps. 
Uh, Nana Tank Treasure says yes. One sold on eBay for nine hundred and ninety-eight dollars, and one sold for eight hundred and sixty dollars. It must be stamps that. It must be that book right there. For stamps. So there's a pretty good collection going on in here, and then this binder. I don't think there's any stamps in it. I looked, but it's pretty much the same thing where. You just add the stamps. It already has the little slip. Yeah, you so put they put the stamp in it. They put the slips in there. We found some so, of those yeah, in there. So she took the time to put the slips on it. And then there's no stamps. I already looked. But this starts off. The oldest stamp you can put in this collection is 1981. And then it goes all the way through 1989. So that is a stamp collecting binder. That particular binder, no stamps in it. George said she checked it. None in this one. This one, Celebrate the Century, where you could collect anywhere from 1900 to 1999. This is an entire set. You collect all 10 of them. This was the really cool thing. All 10 of them are in here. They're all 10 and they're all so sealed. So there's one. Right? Am I right? They're all two sealed. Of Did 10. you check them? Yeah, they're all sealed. Three of 10. Four of ten, five of ten, six of ten, seven of ten, eight of ten, nine of ten, and ten of ten. So that is so that's a complete set. This is a complete set, and they're sealed inside the set. So in addition to this binder, there were additional leaves that I found in an envelope that you can add to the binder. And again, it looks like she took the time to put, he or she took the time to put the protective sleeves on these sheets. So 1971 through, it starts at 1968 through 1971. And then these were random stamps that I found in an envelope as well. So these are full sheets then. Yeah. And these are sealed. Well, they're in the bag. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Pat D says, C. Russell is trying to email. C. Russell, just right there, what they else at yahoo.com. If your email isn't spell, working, right? you can always set up a new email. You can create another email account and try and get us. Okay, so the the high dollar one, if and again, we didn't check on eBay, so it sounds like you guys are, and the viewers did. We didn't have time. The high dollar album is the Liberty album is what it's sounding like. So hopefully, oh, Aaron Breeding just said the Celebrate the Century is going for 40 to $50. Okay, so it sounds like the Liberty album, that's the high dollar album. And then George has some other stamps in here as well. I know this 11 is... 11 pounds of stamp fun. You guys are going to hate me for touching these, but there's whatever there is. So she's got other stuff in here. I'm going to set that back down. This is the first of three stamp lots from the Epic Train Unit. And... This is the album that everybody is saying is worth the most money right here. The United States Liberty Stamp Album. This is the one everybody is saying. Karen says, Jeremy, you look exhausted. I am bloated and <laughs> sleep deprived and... Exhausted. Yeah, yeah, pretty much I'm exhausted. But my belly is filled with pizza and garlic. Your butter. belly is happy. All right, guys. Um... I can't think of a better thing on the 4th of July weekend to, to auction off than the Liberty album. So we're giving you that chance. Now, this is the thing I want to say before we start. If you are lagging, and chances are with uh, 864 of you on here right now, many of you are lagging, and you truly, truly want this lot, do not wait to snipe. Okay? Refresh. Live refresh. Chat. Go ahead and refresh now. Make sure you go back in the live chat, okay? Everybody get in the live chat, refresh live chat. That way you're not lagging. And then 
as you're refreshing and you are live chatting, make sure you bid fast and you bid furious because I don't want somebody who's a serious collector to go, oh, oh man, I wanted it. I missed it. I can't believe it. I was lagging. I understand some people are going to bid because they're resellers, but I also understand that many of you are real stamp collectors. You guys are the real deal and you guys love it when they're stamps. So, whew. What are stamps up to now? 55 cents? 56 I think stamps cents? are 55 cents. 56 maybe? All right. I think everybody's had a chance to refresh. And Elvis Presley Jr. Oh, oh just sent $10. Aww. Hope God will bless you both now. Everybody Aww. donate. Appreciate it, Elvis Presley Jr. We appreciate that, the king, the junior king. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Remember, $25 starting bid. Free shipping within the United States for this stamp lot. If you want to bid outside the United States, there will be additional shipping charges. Everything is as is. No guarantees, no returns. This is pretty epic. And um, George actually, she snuck these out from Second Sense just for you. There'll be right? two other lots. Uh, there will be two other lots, but I believe, options. I believe from what everybody has said on the video that the United States Liberty Stamp album, that is the album. You got a bit fast. You got a bit furious because. I said because. You only got one minute to win it. Let's go. Stamp lot. Here we go. Here we go. High end stamp lot coming from the epic $1,000 train unit. Fucking Fluffy's now at 50. Roger Man is at 30. We got Treasure Box Land at 100. 100 is I've been to be. We got 100. We got 300. We got Joe Durant's the rest of the 1997 at 300. 300 is the high bid. Put the back down, down. Poor People Racing is at 325. 325 is now the high bid. I see $100 bids coming everywhere. Karen Miller at 150. We got Pickle at 150, but 325 Poor People Racing is the high bid to beat. We got 30 more seconds to go. We got people going out. We got people still in. We got people lagging. Don't be lagging. Don't be dragging. You want these stamps? You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious. Crystal Winnet is at. Wait, wait, wait. Joe Norris' 1997 is at 350. Where's Yoshi Roden? Where is Yoshi Roden? We got Joe Bear Resident 1997, 350. 350 is a high bid to beat. We got nine seconds to go. 350. David O'Jones at 200. Four, three, two. 350 is a high bid to beat. 350 is a high bid to beat. Where is it going to end? 350 is a high bid to beat. I see 350. We got 350. Poor people is now 355. We got Storage Auction Rookies 360. Storage Auction Rookies. No way. Storage auction rookies. No way. No way. Storage auction rookies. 360. 360. Good deal. Nice job, storage auction rookies. Nice. Nice job. Nice job. All right, storage auction rookies. They know you what to do. got to do a video of this, okay? And yes, then an unboxing. Let us know how much you sell it for. That's that's awesome. Now, some people right now are going, that's crazy because it was so cheap. Or they're going, that's crazy because I think it was so high. Remember, resellers, if they're doing their job right, they buy low, they sell high. Nice job. In our opinion, Storage Auction Rookies just got an incredible deal. Incredible deal. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. All right, Storage Auction Rookies, you're going to go ahead and you're going to send all your info right there to George. I don't even know who backup bidder was. Well, they paid. So. But we, we already tell you they're going to pay their fellow YouTubers as well. And um, if we'll you saw a stamp, stamps. there will be more stamps next week, okay? There will be more stamps next week. But uh, if if you want stamps, you, you, you know who to talk to, okay? Yep. Oh, Rookie's Boo just said we got stamps to add to that book. That is awesome. Nice. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Okay. Was that over 20 pounds? I have no idea. I wasn't looking. Yes, it was over 20 pounds. I just looked. Good thing there's a lag. All right. She's got beanie babies. Beanie to the babies. So 20 pounds of beanie babies. 20 pounds of beanie babies. 20 pounds of beanie babies. 
Here we go. 20 pounds of Beanie Babies. She's got them. They all have a tag. We've taught, we've taught you guys how to look these up. We've taught you guys which Beanie Babies are worth more than other Beanie Babies. And oh, this one's not a Beanie Baby. Well, she said she's sending. She's going to put that one in there for you anyway, even though it's not a Beanie Baby. You always want the tags. You want to look for errors on the tags. Errors on the tags, okay? That's what you want to look for. Some of you guys just love Beanie Babies. Yeah. Hmm. So you could get this if you're a collector or if you know a family member that's a collector, you can get this for them for as a gift. Early Christmas shopping. Man, I'm getting tired. I don't know. I don't know what's more intense. Auctioning off stamps on what the hails or going to the coin pusher casino <laughs> with George. And I want to, did you guys all see the video where the gift card fell in the playing field next to us? Which was crazy. Okay, so there was a video Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. We don't go multiple days because it is a bit of a travel. So we try and film as much as possible. So earlier earlier in the day, so keep this in mind, you had 4th of July weekend. So you had, you had people who were off work and they were there early, early in the day. So earlier in the day, there were people at the machine. There were people, you know, you get, there's like, how many sides are there on that thing? There's like eight, eight. eight. Okay, so there's eight sides on that machine. So there were people around the machine, and were there people? There were people there was next to us. Playing when it fell, there was someone to the left of us. All right, and so, luckily no one. Well, I mean, were there people playing right? Like a, a lot of times when you go different places, even if you go to slots, people don't like to sit next to each other. They put a gap in between you. Well, you have to keep but if it's six. packed, then you get then you get people next to you. So, so earlier in the day, there were people at the machine, and then. And then when that fell, there was nobody next to us when that fell over in the playing field. So stinking insane. So crazy. I mean, if you, there was, you've seen, we would have let them have it. Yeah, if there was somebody there, there was nothing we could have done. There was no, it's in their playing field. Yeah. There is absolutely in their playing field. We were done for. But my goodness, I don't know what the hails you're going to see next, but you've seen a princess literally give an elbow body slam to a dragon. You've seen a a $500 gift card and we checked them. They, so if you watch the whole video, we They're actually legit. called in, we checked them. Yeah. They're legit. So they put tape over, over the identification numbers so that nobody could just go in and steal the information. So we checked them. They're legit. And the end of the video, we actually called They're legit. It was so crazy. My heart was thumping. I don't know what's more intense though. Auctioning off uh, stamps here on the channel or Either way, our deodorant stops working because we're sweating profusely. Yeah, the deodorant takes a break for sure. The right guard goes left. Amy goes, the, the tower falling was neat. The tower falling was so crazy. It was insane. So crazy. I didn't see that coming. I mean, we talked about it, but I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, so we're goofing around with each other, goofing around. Uh, Lameza sent $2. Did you get all the money out of the second machine. Stay tuned. No spoiler alerts. <laughs> what do you think we did? Do you think we walked away because we know when to hold them? Or do you think we kept playing? What do you think? Hmm. So it was intense. Uh, it was absolutely intense. Just heart attack waiting to happen. Heart attack waiting to happen. Liz just said, neighbor's going to be calling. Make sure you're okay. We literally, I told, I told our neighbor, I was like, listen, we're, we're doing, we're, if you hear yelling and screaming over here, it's usually, it's us filming. We're doing videos. So I don't think I'm, they've never, neither of my neighbors have ever given a clue that they are uh, watched the channel. There is, there is a couple neighbors that I know watch the channel. One walks by all the time and with he's messaged dog. us and he said, Hey, you know, I'm the guy that walks by your house all the time with the dog. I'm a huge fan. And then we have another neighbor around the corner. And, um, and so I do know we have a couple neighbors that actually watch, but I think the neighbors directly next to me, I don't know that they actually ever watch. So to them, it's probably all, you know, it's kind of crazy, mind blowing. They're screaming and yelling and 
to them, they're thinking, oh, you know, what do I do? Do I call the police? Did George just slice Jeremy in half with a sword? Or the other way around. Did Jeremy slice? No, they would never think that. They would never think. They would be like, George just killed him. So that's why he's screaming. She went, got her sword. I ain't laughing. (laughs) I am. (laughs) You could see her face right now. All right. I'm probably going to get sorted tonight. So if you guys don't see me. I'm going to give you the people's elbow. Keep it up. She just said she's going to give me the people's elbow. What's the people's elbow look like? Like what the princess did to the dragon. That's what Promise? <laughs> I've been waiting for that. <laughs> Come to me, Princess George. Come to me. All right. So apparently Almost this box done. literally never ends. 20 pounds of Beanie Baby loving. Uh, Liz Barnes just said she's dying right now. <laughs> dying laughing or because it's so hot? Probably dying because you're going to give her the people's elbow. That's why. All right. That's it. All right. That huge box. 20 of, pounds. 20 pounds of, of Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. Look 20 how pounds of Beanie Babies. These two are. Lemzia said $2. Jeremy's sleeping on the couch tonight. My couch is the most amazing <laughs> couch. If you only knew it's how comfortable so the couch comfortable. was. I sleep on it regardless. It don't make any difference. My couch is comfortable. All right, 20 pounds of Beanie Babies. I call my couch Graham Cracker. So I name everything because I'm weird like that. Uh, Graham Cracker is one of the most amazing. It's the color. It's the color of a Graham Cracker. It's really comfortable. Twenty-five dollars starting bid on this Beanie Baby lot. Free shipping within the United States. Got to be fast. We got to be furious. You only got one minute to win it. Let's go. Here we go, Beanie Babies. Beanie, 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 Baby, Beanie, Baby, Beanie, Baby, Beanie, 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 Beanie. Aaron Cooper is now 20, 28. Now we got Selling Tennessee well, Selling at 35. We got fifty-five. We got Nikki T. Nikki T's at 90. 90 is high bid. No Poor People Racing is now at 100. Poor People Racing is 100. 100. We got Pickle at 105. Give you a nickel for your pickle. 105. Name that movie. Sherry Ziegler is now at 110. 110 is the high bid. 25 seconds to go. Jane Lord said that's over my wallet. Over my wallet. Sherry Ziegler's at 110. Do you remember how many were in there? There's 20 pounds. 20 pounds. We have no idea how many that is, but it is 20 pounds. 110 to Sherry with eight, seven, six, five, four. You know what? I can't count. One, 110. 118, Aaron Breeden. 118, Aaron Breeden just came in at 118. Yoshi Roden is in the house. I can't believe it. Yoshi Roden is in. Everyday Church has found 120. Nice job. Wait, wait. Poor People Racing got it at 125. Whoa. I didn't see it. Poor People Racing. 125, get this cardboard out of my face. <laughs> Poor People Racing, 125. You know the drill. Your name, your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, your email. Bam, right there. What the hell is at yahoo.com. Poor people racing at 125. Nice job. Nice job. Wow. There were some other bids, but poor people racing. Got it. Yoshi. Yoshi, where were you on the stamp lot, man? You missed it. Where were you on the stamp lot? He was in the chat earlier, and then he must have hopped on. I don't know if he hopped off or he's just like, yeah, that ain't my stamp lot. I got enough stamps. Yoshi, she had stamps tonight. She's going to have stamps tomorrow or next week. Yoshi said he was sleeping. <gasps> you missed it. Well, he could message r- rookies. Please. Storage auction rookies won it. Storage auction rookies won it, man. All right. Everyday treasure found is backup bidder at 120. George has another 10 pounds a lot. Rookies oh. booze going on. Those are my stamps. <laughs> my stamps. I can't believe Yoshi wasn't in there. He fell asleep. I can't believe Yoshi wasn't in there bidding. There's a total of 57 hats. 57 hats. 57 lids. 57 caps. 57 hats. However you want to call it, there's 57 of them. Some may be with a tag. Some may not be with a tag. Just remember. Just re- Oh, Nice. George Auction Rookies is going to do a video on the stamp lot. Super cool. Nice. Bam! Super, super cool. All right. We got a ton of hats. Can't wait to see the video. Let us know 
let us know. Uh, poor people racing said, Jeremy, please check if email was for beanies was received. And let me check. Let me check. Let me check. And um, got beanies. Yep. Got the beanies. Sure did. All right. So all of these hats. Look at that cute little whale. That reminds me. That reminds me of our little our little uh, plushies. Our little plushies all over. Mm -hmm. So are these new, used? What do we know? Oh. They're both mixture of both. Okay. Roger man. Roger K man said, "I thought you said cats." Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Surge Auction Rookies, your email did come through. Yes, I saw that one too. Look, here's a first mate. Oh, nice. First mate. Yep, got Surge Auction Rookies. Got uh, Danica on the backup bid for the sheet music. And Oh, Sam's Grocery already paid for the sheet music. Didn't waste Las any money. Las Vegas. Sam didn't waste any money. He's just like, yeah. or it's Becca with Sam's Grocery. So got that. She's like, I don't need no stinking invoice. Uh, I'm a friends and family. <laughs> Becca, Becca just said, if they don't pay for the tie lot, I want them. <laughs> so the already Be Becca, they already we already got the message for the beanie babies. Do you have more beanie, beanie babies or? Yeah, there's one more lot. She does have one more lot of beanie babies. These all I look don't think new. tonight. These all look new because they have the cardboard. But these are all forest Good night, Kristen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten cores light. And then so there's one selling two, hats. Three, four, five, six, seven. We've, of this style. We've mentioned this before. Overseas, mm -hmm. Asia particularly, the Asians love Western buying culture. trucker. They love Western culture and they love buying trucker hats. There are people that all they do is they buy hats from, from Goodwill and they resell trucker hats overseas because of Western culture. So uh, these, these snap hats, trucker hats, I mean, you name it, she's got it, but are those all the same? Yeah, these are all the same with and they all have tags. Same design, different color. Oh, Chrysler. Oh my goodness. Is that Diamond Chrysler? Mm-hmm. And that's it. Again, there's 57 hats. 57 hats. 57 hats. All right. Um, well, that's pretty much what it is. It's hats. It's either new hats with tags or hats with tags or, or used hats, okay? And 25 dollar starting bid. She's all set. Can I wear one? While I, I mean, you want the first yeah. mate one? I want the Las Vegas one. Viva Las Vegas! Right. This one is gently used. Actually, let's do it the right way. There we go. All right, twenty-five dollars starting bid, free shipping here within the United States. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious because you only have one minute to win it. <laughs> Let's go! The one you're wearing now is more valuable. This one is it is it more valuable? Yeah. I can't see any of the bids. Can you see any of the bids? No. I can't see. All right. I have no idea who's bidding, what they're bidding. I have no idea whatsoever. There are 57 hats, though. I can tell you that. 57 hats. I can't see. I can't <laughs> see who's bidding. I hope the mobs are taking care of this. There's someone at 150. All right, somebody's at Michael Whalen is at 175. Michael Whalen is now at 175. I don't know if he's winning. I don't know if anybody else is winning, but I do see a Michael Whalen at 175. If you do win the slot and you want to sign one of the hats, yes, certainly. 
Pamela Lynn probably just said, nice hat, Jeremy. <laughs> Did she? Did she? I got x-ray vision here. How many more seconds do we have to go? 12 seconds. 10, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. <laughs> Mildred Pierce says, remove the glasses, Kermit. All right. Let's see who won. I see Melinda Young at 180. I see. Muhammad was at 200. He says he took it back. I took it back. And uh, it's probably. So. All right. Melinda Muhammad said he took it back. So Melinda Young at 180. So Melinda, it looks like it's probably going to be Melinda. Is it going to be Melinda Young? Mods confirm. Mods can it is. It's from Melinda Ooh. Young. Melinda Young at 180. Melinda Young, you are high bidder at 180. I have no idea who backup bidder is. I was a little bit busy. Melinda Young, nice job. You're gonna send your real name, your YouTube name, even if they're the same, your shipping address, and your email address. Bam, right there, right there to George. What the hell's that? Yahoo.com and Michael Whalen. Michael is backup bidder at 175. Michael, you can send all of your information as well as the backup bidder. Keep in mind, there's still an opportunity for everybody tonight still to win a lucky bag and a little bonus as well. Oh, my goodness, you yarnaholics. You are about to relapse. Here we go. You are going to be relapsing big time. Big time. Debbie Vaughn says, Jeremy, that was a great look. <laughs> the Kermit look with the Vegas hat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're, they're saying there was a 200 Ow! Apparently, George just did something. Now they're saying there was a $200 other bid. All right, let me see. Let me go back. I was goofing around. Let me see what's going on. Let me see if there is. Doug Altman said 200 is high. It does not look like Doug Altman actually put in a $200 bid. He said 200 is high not see a other bid all right uh george is all right she was just being dramatic i just hit part of the guitar case like ripped into she my ripped, skin she, her her second pinky ripped off it's fine she's got two pinkies on her left foot she didn't need them both so it's a it's an egyptian thing she's grown she grew two oh pinkies gosh. all right so there's 22 skein skein squeen all right 22 skeins <laughs> There's six twin packs, so six of these. Six twin packs. And then you have ten of the jumbo. Ten the jumbo, jumbo dream weavers. All dream the same pattern, weaver. color. all the same color. Ah, da, 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 da. These are all made in the U.S. All right, U.S. U.S. yarn for the yarnaholics. If you were on the wagon, you are about to fall off of it, you yarnaholics. There are jumbo skeins. So there's a total of 22 skeins. skeins. 22 skeins. And how many of them are jumbos? 10 jumbos. 10 jumbos. Six twin packs. 10 jumbos, six twin packs. 22 skeins, U.S. yarn. U.S. Yarn, Dream Weaver, some crazy colors, some psychedelic Those are colors. Some fun, bright colors. Psychedelic colors from the 60s here. Uh, if you don't remember the 60s, crochet something with this. I'm sure it'll come back to you. All right. Lots of yarn, $25 starting bid, free shipping here within the United States. You got to bid fast, you got to bid furious because you only got one minute to win it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Mick said you could do some prayer blankets. Yeah. And we've got, oh, Kathy wants to know, is it four-ply? Treasure Box Land is at $45. $45. Kim Owens now at 50 we got Mildred Pierce at 55 55 is a high bid right now. we got $50 bids coming in here, left, right, everywhere. $55 with Mildred Pierce is now the high bid. Now the niche lady is in at 75 Niche lady is in at 75 Treasure Box Land is at 60 we got Cecilia at 60 Mick Draper is now at 100 Woo! Mick put the gauntlet down. Mick put the gauntlet down to the $100. That U.S. psychedelic stuff is for me. <laughs> Mr. Draper will be picking it up. 
tomorrow. <laughs> he will be driving to pick it up. All right, Mick is now at $100, 15 seconds to go. We got bids left, right, up, down. Oh, Vicky Dodd is now at 110. Vicky Dodd is now at 110. Mick was at 100. Vicky Dodd is now at 110 with four seconds, three seconds, probably two, probably even one. This lady is at 111. This lady is at 111. 111. Right now, Valerie now is at 115. Valerie's at 115. And we've got Patty now at 125. Mick Draper at 125. Patty got it at 125. Woo! Oh my goodness, Mick Patty just missed Rowley. it. Patty, nice oh. job. Patty, nice job. Patty, here's what you're going to do. You're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your email. Byron, right there. I'm pointing at it. That's it. At whatthehails at yahoo.com. And then Mick is backup bidder. Mick was like, like so a close. blink, a blink so behind close. Patty at 125. Wow. Wow. Mick, if you want to send George all your backup information as well, that was intense. That was intense. April says, wow, we. I'm going to wow, add a little. Wow. George always goes, wow, wow, we, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What time is it? 11.45. All right, let's do jewelry and then the lucky. She's okay. doing jewelry for all you jewelry holics. She's got jewelry for you. She's got jewelry. Niche lady, thank you for feeding my addiction to auctions. LOL. I love it. Thanks for coming, Mitch lady. Bam. 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 All right. Fluffs Travel says, first time here. Love your channel. Thanks so much, Fluffs Travel. We have a ton of fun with our viewers. We really do. We really, we really do have a lot of fun with our viewers. Remember, with all of you guys in the chat, we encourage you, if you see one item from a lot that you would like to own, you we, we encourage you to network with one another. You can offer that individual who won the lot in the chat. Say, hey, I'd like to buy that. If they're willing to sell, you guys can work a deal. We don't mind. We will not share your information with one another, though. So even if you message us and go, hey, can you, you, know, can you do this, this, can you contact with this person? Just not something we feel comfortable doing. We wouldn't feel comfortable if you were doing that with our information. We don't want you to. We don't want to do it with your information either. But we have no problem if you guys want to network and if you guys want to collaborate within the actual chat, work deals. That's fine. Remember, we're doing this not for us. We could make more money if we were selling it on eBay, like Midwest Picker just proved tonight. We can make more money if we're actually selling it on eBay. We're trying to be out there helping you guys source. And that's why we're doing it in the bulk lot this way. These are like jewelry beads in this box. She got a bag of stuff. This is probably from a bunch of different storage units, guys. So to go to say this is from one storage unit, we probably wouldn't be able to do that. It's all kinds of stuff thrown together. There's a couple um, mismatch, like there's a couple pieces that are missing. Some pieces are broken, but majority of the bag is a com like complete. Ooh. Denise wants to know: Is there any gold or silver? There might be real silver. This is cool. It's a bracelet and a ring that's attached. This is magnetic. Look. That bracelet is? Yeah. That's cool. It's Look, stuck to it. Magnetic bracelet. I guess you can just put whatever you want. Bam! Bam! <clears throat> Mick just sent buck 99, 125. Mick, you did have a bid at 125. <laughs> Remember, YouTube, when you make a bid, especially when it's as fast <laughs> as that, when you make a bid, YouTube will push your your comment up above everybody else's. But it actually isn't yours. Well, yours wasn't first. Yours was a split, split second afterwards. So when you go back and you watch this in the replay, you're going to see it in the real live replay, and you'll see yours is a split second afterwards. That's why we don't make any comments, because we have to see everything as it actually happens. We don't know why YouTube will bump your comment above when you make a comment. We don't understand why they do it, 
but we don't make any comments so that we see everything in the in the actual real time. So when you go back and you watch this, so let it process. When we're done tonight, it'll process. It'll take about an hour to process, and then you can go back and watch the actual the actual comments. You'll see that you're just like a split second afterwards. But to you on your end, because of the way YouTube does what they do, it looked to you like you were first. But the mods, you see, when the mods all said that you weren't because they weren't making any comments, they saw it in the real time. That's why we always. That's why you see on every every channel, hey, mods, mods got it handled. They know what's going on, and that's why you also see us. Everybody who goes, well, my bid was first, and we we say the same thing over and over again. We got, if you go back to the replay, you'll you'll get it. All kinds of jewelry here. A couple broken pieces, but for the most part, everything's put together. But Mick, make sure you message George anyway as backup bidder. Because I might have extra yarn. So all kinds of jewelry here. She said most of it looks complete. I don't know if she checked. I can tell you I didn't check it for silver or gold. I don't know if she did. Did you check everything and see if it was marked? Mm -hmm. She just shrugged her shoulders. She I like, did. I she did. Said, if there was no marking, then it went in the pile. She said she checked it, and then if there was no marking, it went in the pile. But it could be silver, and I just didn't see a marking. Could be. She just threw some of the jewelry. She was like, Whoop. All right, that's it. Look, like he, this is an earring. That's an It's a glow earring. in the dark, but it's missing the other pair. So there's a couple earrings that I don't have. Is that the a other skeleton? Pair. Yeah. You should you should put this in your nose. Like here's a Rubik's cube earring. Put this in your nose piercing. It's missing. I don't have the other pair. Just put that right in your nose pierce, and then hang that. What? <laughs> All right. All kinds of jewelry. Here we go. Five uh, pounds. I don't remember what, what's five in there. Five pounds. Five of pounds of jewelry. Five pounds of jewelry. $25 starting bid. Free shipping within the United States. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious. Because you own it. Yeah. One minute to win it. Here we go. All right. Here's all the jewelry. George has gone through it. She's showing it to you. All kinds of stuff here. And fucking Fluffy's in at $50. Kim Owens now at $75. Cecilia's at $50. Veronica's at $78. Veronica Harris is in at $78. Veronica's winning. Now Kathy White is at $100. Kathy White's at $100. Westside Gary's at $75. Jane Lord's at that $25. And then she's dragging and lagging. Kathy White is high bidder right now at $100. DD Stuck is at $90. Oh, Big Draper just said make that into a skull necklace. Take that, since it's nearing, just turn it into a skull necklace. That's a good idea. Ja Jane Lord just said she's out. We've got Kathy White still at $100. Kathy is $100. Tina Lee Laurie says, I'm going to be jealous of the winner of this. And $100 bid with 10 seconds to go. $100 bid with 10 seconds to go. It's five, four. Veronica Harris is now at 101. Two, one. Veronica Harris. Eileen. Eileen's at 125. we got people bidding all over the place. Eileen is now at 125. I got a feeling there's going to be some sniping in here. We got paces coming everywhere. We got poor people racing, 127. Poor people racing, 127. Wow, 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 wow. Nice job. Nice. Nice job. Poor people racing, you know what to do. You've sent two messages already. Go ahead and send another. Poor people racing got it for 127. Backup bidder was... Let me check, let me check, let me check. Backup bidder was Eileen. Eileen Glazer, you were backup bidder. Go ahead and send George a message. All your information, YouTube name, real name, and Didn't shipping you know address. Eileen in high school? I did. I did. Well, yeah, I, I knew a girl named Eileen in high school. She only had one leg. She worked at IHOP. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Congratulations. That's this is an awesome lot. Vicky said the orange flowers looks like it's from the 50s. I was wondering There's a lot it, of vintage jewelry. I was wondering there. if it might be coral as she was showing. It, it could be coral, yeah. All right. Uh George, what do you think? Tons of 
Tons of awesome. Lucky food. bag. Yeah, lucky bag is next. Is it time for lucky bag? With the bonus. All right. Guys, it's time for somebody to win a lucky bag. The original lucky bag. You're going to see how many times once you receive lucky bag, you're going to look at this and you're going to go, this thing has been beat It's in to grungy stop. condition. Remember. Cuz the quarters are you don't, so You don't you don't see how many times it's lost. So there are so many more uh, things that have happened with lucky bag than what you actually see on camera. You've only seen the wind so far. I think there's people oh, there's saying, people, hey, people I'm interested in some of that stuff. Domino earrings. Oh, that's cool. That was all part of it. All part of it. All right. She's scooping up the, the jewelry lot. Look at that. She's just scoopity, scoopity, scooping. <laughs> oh, there. this might be real Pandora. I don't know. This bracelet. I don't know either. Scoopity, scoop, Nicholas scoop, says, scoop, when do we get scoop, to see the losing video? Uh, no. Lemzia says, you should sign the lucky bag. Are you going to sign the lucky bag? Yeah, they have to request it in the email. If the winning bidder, if the winning bidder requests George to to autograph Lucky Bag, both then George will autograph Lucky Bag. Both of us. Apparently, both of us. We're a I'm not sure. Deal. Really? Because you don't ever let me play. Yeah, I do. There's proof in the video that you've played. All right, here it is. The one. Lucky bag. The only. Can you show them? Can you show them where the hole is? Busted right through. It gets dingier with every play. Look, let me put it on my camera because it's gonna look even dirtier and nastier on my camera. And Guys, then, this is how bad it is. Okay, that's how you bad can't even it see is. Through it. We used to be able to see through it. Used Not to be no clear. More. This no. is how much this thing has been through. No more. This thing, yeah, you can get a COA if you guys need a COA. <laughs> Look at that. We'll get you a COA on that. Just make sure you include it in the email. Look at this. Look at you guys see that hole there? That's from clenching. And then here's the bonus that comes with lucky bag. How appropriate. You're gonna get a casino slot machine it's here a tonight. Coin bank. Coin bank for your quarters. So you can either put your quarters in the slot machine or you can put your quarters in lucky bag above your slot machine because they're gonna fall out. How cute. It needs new batteries, and then the, this lights up. So there aren't any batteries in it right now, but you can put batteries in it. It'll light up. You can win a lucky bag and the casino. and the casino slot uh, coin bank here tonight for free. Free. Free 99 No, free. Don't confuse our people. <laughs> so all you have to do is be the first person to answer a question correctly about one of the videos on What the Hails this week. We've shared in the past, if you want to be the winner of the free item every week, the question is always going to come from the least viewed video of the week because we want it to go to a super fan who's watched every single video. So the video this week that didn't get the most views had some of the most epic stuff in it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't get the views that it should have gotten, but that's okay. It's epic, and some of you actually watched it so here's the question okay here's the question there are so many so many incredible things found this week all right so many incredible things found this week and uh, i just i'm still besides myself in regards to everything that was found in the epic train unit Liz is already saying Dukes a Hazard car. Uh, Conky, Conky has Conky. that. The he, AC. He put it, there are more. He put it in a secure place. There are AA, well, there trunk. is. There was the two hundred dollar uh, large die cast as well. Mm -hmm. Here's the question: In a video this week, in a video this week, there was an item shown. All right, there was an item shown. It was the new, the brand new Lionel Badlands Express. How much did we say it was worth in the actual video? The Lionel Badlands Express. How much did we say it was worth in the video? 
First one to answer will win a lucky bag. You have to you have to answer correctly, and you have to answer first. Oh my goodness! Here we go! 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 I have to catch up. I have to catch up because I will lose it if we don't. And don't worry, we're still going. I see all kinds of answers. We still got a minute to win it. I see somebody said Aaron Breeden says five hundred. Anthony USMC says 200. Funky Fluff, 300. Jason Legrand, 290. I see Christopher Wiley at 200. Penny Cole at 200. Globe at 200. This is the Lionel Badlands Express. Brand stinking new. Brand new in the box. Man, it was awesome. Cats Meow says 200. K Rest says 300. Oh, man, we got people everywhere with all kinds of answers. George, do you remember how much? George doesn't even remember how much. George doesn't remember how much. I can't believe it. George doesn't remember one of the coolest well, pieces Conky in there. Conky was there given all these calculations. Conky was given a lot of calculations. So, you know who does remember? Who's our winner? Debbie Vaughn! Debbie! Debbie, Debbie, you won. The answer was $100. Million dollars. No, 100 100 100 dollars awesome. congratulations, congratulations debbie. debbie debbie you just won <laughs> lucky bag and the casino slot and the casino you slot. are the very first one with the hundred dollar answer some others got it as well you got trevor you got lisa barnes i see others that got the hundred dollar answer wow yeah, with nikki, a lot of people nikki t was at a hundred a lot of people Gr grumpa bill yeah, a lot oh of people got it. A lot of people got it. The answer? A lot of people have been paying attention. $100. Woo! I was Up there the filming screen. and I didn't even know the answer. Up on the screen. <laughs> $100. So, Debbie Vaughn, you are the winner. Woo! So, Debbie Vaughn, we need Debbie. your YouTube name, your real name, even if they're the same. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, your address, even though I have it. We have it because she sent us the Right piece. here. No. I have it right here in that piece of mail. So, I have it. <laughs> And we don't need your email address because George is just gonna send it to you free of charge. Yes. You are the winner. Wow, congratulations. You Remember, we give out a free lot every Sunday at the end of our ball. Not always is it as epic as the the I, lucky bag. I though. feel like a free lot is always epic. Free is free, right? Uh not when you go free ninety nine and confuse people. <laughs> not when you confuse people like that. <laughs> It's a late night, isn't it? It is. It's 12.01. Uh, Debbie did say she wants it autographed and she wants a COA. Okay. All right. Yeah. Make sure you include that in the email so I remember. <laughs> you think we should sing them a lullaby? We got to put them late? to sleep. Let's put these people to sleep. It's late. People watching from all over the world. It's 12.02 here on the East Coast. I think I think this song is appropriate because of July 4th. And it goes a little something like this. Okay. Like this. Twinkle, twinkle, <laughs> little star. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Always fun hanging out with you guys you are. during our lives. Uh, what? During our lives. We're not alive anymore. <laughs> uh, 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 Playing minutes of women. World so high. Like a dot. Wait, like a firework fire in the <laughs> Hope you guys sky. had an amazing 4th of July weekend. Go, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder, wonder what you We'll see are. you guys here next Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another live Q&A, bulk auction, and free lot. Good night. Say good night. Good night. Love you all.